The amateur game has always been a big part in our lives. It's always the topic of our conversations and is constantly on our minds on a daily basis. Although it's not at a professional level, the amateur game is a working class sport at a working class level. Players put their bodies on the line, life's on hold, and have worked their socks off to be the best they can be from the top to the bottom of the amateur game. We live and breathe football and the amateur game has given us our best years in football. Both of us have come to the end of our playing days and want to sit and speak to the legends of the game. Legends in our world. To sit and listen about the careers and stories of the game we love. Welcome to our podcast. Three points, please. Right, here we are today with two Ballymun legends. We thought we'd kill two boards with one stone or probably kill two legends with one stone. Um, two ex Ballymun players, two Ballymun legends, Davy Kane and Polly Kane. Welcome, lads. Cheers, lads. Thanks. Thank you. So, uh, what is up there these days? The football's kind of out the window at this stage, is it? Well, yeah, for me anyway. Yeah. Um, just well, the guy. I, I, my two kids play guy now. You know yeah. what I mean? So, I, my, all my the tension's gone. I, I don't even go watch football matches anymore, to be honest with you. You've had enough. I've watched a few yeah. of Bally Moon's games, and I, football to me is dead. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I don't see the same thing that we had, like the likes of us when we played. There's no commitment in in soccer anymore. Yeah. That's what that's what I think anyway. So you don't do crave you? it. No, anymore. I don't. And I thought when I what I actually thought when I jacked it in that I would be watching football matches. Do you know, I mean? I'd be going watching games, but. I've no interest in whatsoever. The, the mentality's changed though, because yeah. we played. It was up training, everyone getting stuck in, everything else, and now you can't. Lads turn up, don't turn up because they went to a festival or something on a on a Friday and they have a match on a Sunday. Like for me, when I finished with Bally Moon first, um, they brought a fella from Tallinn, Noel um, Noel Born in, and uh, I was still kind of playing, just just about finished, and he says to me, "Will you hang around um, with me for?" It was a half a season or something. They, they brought me in halfway through. He says, "Will you hang around and uh, just because I don't know anybody?" Just and I says, "Yeah, look, I'll, I'll hang around." Do you know what I mean? They, they gave me the gear, the, the management gear, and all the top was great. But um, what I saying then? Do you know what I mean? Just put yeah. me off totally. Like, like you'd fellas, we playing friendlies and uh, good, good young fellas, like really good footballers, like, and uh, we played the game up in Ballymun, and he said to me, "Right, lads, it's gonna be on and off, so nobody go anywhere." So I says, Roy Grant, so he took, he's playing this, I can't remember who he was, he was just smashing, smashing centre forward, but he took him off, he says, Roy, keep him, he's gonna, go, we're gonna put him back on on the right hand side of midfield or something. So second half st- starts, about 10 minutes in, he says, get him ready, he's going back on. So he turns around, he's gone. <laughs> there you go. Do you know what I mean? And uh, when I see that, I says to myself, yeah, oh, I'm yeah. not hanging around here yeah. for that, because that would have never happened in our day. No. Then Tuesday night comes back up training and doesn't even no excuse you know you might come back up and say listen I had to shoot off something happened nothing nothing the, the thing so is that was the mentality back then and that's 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 a long time yeah, ago you know the, his mentality was I didn't do what I'm wrong so we should apologise exactly and yeah. obviously you, you don't think you're wrong and you, yeah. you never that's you, improve, you never improve you never change kind, that's kind of not just that situation but um, just watching football and just like you said just that's it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same as what we what we were. We've we've spoke a few times on it, haven't we? And we we even said it like we think air error is was the last kind of solid stock. The ones that gave the commitment, gave everything to it, like to the to the amateur game. But I I think after air error went, probably a little bit younger than us. And anyone kind of yeah. under me and Nelson's age, I think that's when it that's when it went. I agree. We definitely agree. Um. So David, what? Polly's dumb so are you are you dumb as well? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I don't. As I said, the Polly does he? Cry? I don't crave anything to do with football. I don't. Like I'm still involved with Bally Moons twenty fives to a certain extent, and I'm on the committee. But regards football, although I played a match last Friday, <laughs> but, uh, that that was Legends one. Or, or yeah, it was just a little tournament yeah, yeah. in the club. But uh, I don't miss it. I don't want to play. Yeah, I don't. I like going to watch my uncle playing football, but other than that. I've no interest really in it anyway. I don't I don't watch it that much on the telly. It's it's crazy though the careers that he's had there and obviously the, the reputations have around and obviously you know, he's done his career but to be dumb right? like people always say, Ah, oh, the Kane's probably going to manage and take over Bally Moon. He's never in sport, I never thought no. And I, I I find with it's like anything in life, where you do something long enough, you get a pain in your bollocks with it after a while, and like, yeah, fuck yeah. that's enough of that, you know what I mean? And even 
even the thoughts of like someone someone asked me to do the warm up last Friday and I had to ask somebody else. I didn't pay attention to any of that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have to manage a team or pick a team yeah, or yeah. tell someone what they're doing wrong. Yeah. Well, no interest in no any interest of that nonsense. In it, yeah. no, no. Yeah. Kids, the likes of Kane when he was with Fingers and that with Dave Crampton and even Jim Bob's team, like sometimes you'd help out someone to ask you something yeah. and, and then all of a sudden you'd find yourself, I was in the dressing room here with, with you, I don't know if you were playing and you got to a certain age and I said, you've gone past the point now, lads, where people, you know, you're getting a little kiss and a little hug from the manager. Grow up you yeah. know be a bit more responsible now for what you're doing on a football pitch I think when you when you get to that point I could see myself kind of getting sucked in I was like yeah, yeah. 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 and that's right well, like, for me like as, as Dave said like what, like you think being around the men, the managers that we were around and the lads that we were around that you'd be able to say well I'll go up there and do a session until you actually have to do it yeah. like I'd be the odd time with, with uh, Megan's team at Kickham's I would give the, the man a hand and he'd say, will you do this and do that? And you'd be, you'd be thinking to yourself, where am I going to put these cones? What will I do with these? And you, but you think all the years you played football, yeah, that it's it come naturally to yeah, you. Like, yeah. We were never that way. I knew that I was when I stopped playing football, I was never going to manage a team. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And you kind of struck me as that sort of person, knowing you on a personal level, like when you're talking to you about football, you, you loved football, loved playing football, but outside of football you didn't like yep. football like 100%. what you said before we started here yeah i have no interest in sitting really with people and talking about football in a pub or you know yeah, what i mean I you didn't really care about it or and i, I was, did get that from you yeah, yeah i was the type and dave will tell you this that like i done everything right before a match yeah everything down preparation to, down to me boots my gear everything was ready do you know what i mean and i was even when i got there on the, the mornings of the games and all I, it was total professional you were still crap but after, <laughs> but after the after the games then as you said like it was gone yeah Football that was, was gone it. until i went back training on tuesday yeah. do you know what i mean yeah. but obviously like, never any never any uh thing about managing a team now you're saying there about you didn't really pick things up your your job was to turn up score goals create goals and whatever and he's never really kind of you have no interest in going in there afterwards, you, you wouldn't even throw your eye over what but questions I, getting put on that. I think some people subconsciously pick up stuff like that. Yeah. And you may not think while it's happening that you're picking up stuff. But I think some people, are, and it comes back to them then, and they can remember stuff, and they remember stuff that they've picked up where we didn't. Yeah, I, I was into it, and I did what the manager told me to do, and you, you do what you have to do and the whole lot. But I wasn't taking taking it in and, and saving her yeah. up there it was just delete good luck yeah. but I think some people subconsciously keep it like look at Casey I was only talking about Casey today when he played for us he was a hard man for our team he Casey deal with, yeah that. deal with the, all the hard fellas that we played against and he never thought for one minute that he'd pick up he was picking up anything along the way yeah. mm. on the gaggle and he was yeah. kicking people and looking after everybody he else never thought he was going to be a manager like no, anyway no. like, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, comes no. back to Ballymun and he was fucking brilliant. Absolutely. Was that good, was he? Yeah. He was brilliant. Yeah. His man management side of things was incredible. Good. He wasn't that good. He got rid of me. Yeah, that's when you <laughs> that's went. That's when I mean. went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when he got good. I think, again, that was probably, that was probably a bit of me and him because, again, I would have been a bit, a bit more vocal about stuff. Do you know what I mean? And, Whereas lads probably wouldn't have been with Casey. So, kind of me and Casey probably clashed a little bit. I just you know what I mean? even if you don't, if you don't like a manager and you don't think what he's doing is the right thing to do, it doesn't matter. Just do it anyway. He'll pay the price. But don't yeah. go, I'm not fucking doing that for yeah. you. Just do yeah. it. If it's not working, it's not working. He, it's his fault. Yeah. Not yours. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that's all the managers I've ever had. Just do what you're told. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Never yeah. Hours at the it's, it's, it's gas now. That's that's something that, like that's good, like listening to two brothers and both of you have a completely different opinion on, on that. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. And I know what yeah. you mean there, Polly, with like what you're saying. When it like you were there a long time at Bally Moon, not they would have had a huge say, but when you when you do become a, a regular player and a and a senior player and you're with a club that long and a team that long you say those matter and you want the best for the club like you wouldn't have been going around saying oh, I want Ballymun to fail here but you you didn't agree with some of yeah. Casey's things obviously on the mm. development of Ballymun or whatever mm. and you didn't you yeah. didn't want to. I felt like that once or twice with Weft that I was there too long that I was having too much of a say and managers were coming in and I was like what you were saying there about Casey so I was thinking that oh, he's not gonna, he's not going to be good enough yeah. do you know what I mean yeah, and because yeah, I'm there yeah. that long I think I have that say do you yeah, know what I mean and yeah. do you know what being there that long as well 
people on the outside that wouldn't know what goes on in the club will look at it and exactly. go, the Canes run that team. Yes. yes. And the that's, funny story yeah. to tell you is, is uh, Danny Crowley. Remember Danny? Yeah, Danny came he in after Noel. He took the Bally Moon job. I think it was after Noel, was it? Might have, been, might have been somebody else and then no, him. Or, yeah, I think he was a little bit later down the line. Anyway, he, he, took the, yeah. he took the, the job, mm. um, the Ballymun job, and the, I remember the first session in uh, the Alcid, do you remember? Um, there, was, there was about 45 players. It was, it was, it was great now, do you know what I mean? But we were still there, but obviously seeing that players. But the first thing he says to me and him was, he called me and him separately over to him and said, uh, all right, lads, Danny, introduce himself. And all yeah. We knew him anyway because we yeah. played against him. He says, uh, I was talking to a fella the other day and the first thing he told me to do was to get rid of you and him. <laughs> and straight away. Straight away. For me, anyway. Yeah. Straight away, I went, what's this fella talking about? Do you know what I mean? Straight away, he's talking about whether he said it or somebody else said it. The, the, the thing was, getting rid of me and Dave. Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? So pe- I think people on the outside talk Creator. that me and him had a say in what went on. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you it's 100% here now. We never had yeah. a say, ever. Managers. And we never asked for a say either. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Managers would approach you being a senior player and ask you certain things and you give your opinion. But of course. I never stood in the dressing room and said to in front of a manager, I'm not doing that or you shouldn't do that. Not once in my life have yeah. I ever done that. Mm. People talk like that. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, exactly. well, people are on the outside looking in, that's all that mm-hmm. is, yeah. Who cares, you yeah. know? Mm. Um, so we'll take it back to the schoolboy years and... Did you two, even though he was, the two of us played the same schoolboy all the way I'd, I'd, ne- I'd never played schoolboy football. What's, what's the age not? difference? No. He didn't play schoolboy at all. It's three years. Three years. Paul, you're yeah. older, yeah? I'm 48 yeah. this week, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's mad to say it's that. Not, it's one of the coming down out there. You're not getting one. You're getting your hips replaced. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't play any schoolboy football whatsoever. No? Uh, sorry, when I say I didn't play, I played for Ballymont Town under 14s. Probably, probably for a year, year and a half. And then I went to Talga Rovers and... Uh, just for a week. I think it was for a week, yeah. It didn't happen. It just didn't... I don't even know what it was, whether he didn't enjoy it going there or whether something happened. But anyway, I jacked it. The next time I took up playing football was with Sandy Hill. That's Se- senior. Senior, senior, yeah. Senior, yeah. Senior, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. We were trying to work out today how old he actually was when he started. You must have been, like, early 20s. It would have been, really? yeah. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, it was early 20s. I'll tell you why, because... I remember a girl I was going out with at the time was she was twenty one, right? And we went down to the Red Parrot. Do you know the Red Parrot yeah, there? Yeah. And the lads off Sandy Hill came down. So that's it was around tw- I would have been probably around twenty two, twenty three. Mm. You know, you're starting football like, when I obviously playing on the street playing and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They were, yeah, so. they were brilliant. We'll probably get to a later on with them Sandy Hill lads were like brilliant. Yeah. Just yeah. just a different they were just amazing that bunch of people that were with Sandy Hill mm. so all of them the people that ran at the players brilliant oh, yeah. brilliant yeah. so y- yourself then I played for Ballymont Town when I was uh, 8 and 9 till about under 12 I think, I think. and uh, a fella called Jim Kennedy I remember I'm knocking him in, up to the flat me and my man dad were there and he asked me to sign for Kevin's and my dad was like yeah yeah he'll sign for Kevin's and then I stayed with Kevin's I loved Kevin's yeah. loved it because and then years later you play for Ballymun. Like I came across that we hated them. I suppose we did at the time. Like, yeah, it's not sure hate each other yeah. at the time, you know, because like as Bally you say, Moon when you play, like, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I stayed there until I was under 18 and I was hoping to go to that first team or that Saturday team, but nobody ever came near me. I was allowed to just leave. Yeah. So uh, a friend of mine, what was his name? I'll tell you his name in a minute. But uh, he asked me, they were setting a team up in Sword Celtic in the 19s. And right. we had apparently we had loads of top players from all these teams that were finished at under 18 so yeah. we had a bleeding top top team we, we won the, the league and the cup we got thrown out of the league then because we had to have more of a sheriff apparently it was all their fault but the truth was out but we'd won it and uh, that was it then I went to Aer Lingus then f- yeah. I don't even know how I ended up at Aer Lingus this was asking you know it must be three points in the Alts or something was it <laughs> I don't know how I ended up up there I don't know who asked me up but what I used to do when I was playing for them they'd play in the morning and then after the game we'd go to watch Paul and Davey playing for Ballymun Sh- Sandy, Sandy Hill, Hill. Yeah. 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 but Davey Mangan would say have you got your boots and I'd say yeah he goes come on you go on the bench yeah. so it was well, what would Sandy Hill have been then like, and what it, was, it, was the, it was Premier B, B. Yeah. Right, no right, but right. It, it, was, it wasn't it was Division 3A Sunday Yeah, well, when we st- when I started with them do you know what I mean that was and the, the sticks and veggies they used to call the lads they used to call themselves the sticks and veggies because it was a team of just like geriatrics really yeah. 
and then obviously we when when I went there, Dave didn't come straight away. But then me and him played up front. I think we scored fifty goals each that season. I'd say so. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's who? kind of when you know the Bally thing started to happen. Then do you know what I mean? Because we, we across the road and we two and at people were saying, "Where did these two have to come from?" Yeah. And you know when, it's, I mean? when like, it's brothers, like if it's had a vein, like just two centre forwards, be like Abby, him, yeah. Paulie, and David. But when yeah. it's two brothers yeah. and that banging in, you're like, "Yeah, yeah. you get one, you yeah. get the other." Yeah, but it was Absolutely. fun. It was funny. Like it was great play. I loved playing that league. Now it was as I say, we were scoring goals to beat the band, but. The, the crack we used to have going yeah. out to the games. Do you, you remember know? who the top scorer in that league was every year, Paul? Yeah, your man Jason, Jason Bourne, Bourne. Off, off, uh, That was with Shelves? Yeah, 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 he was yeah, playing was for uh, Column Kills. Column Kills. Column Kills, Kills or something yeah. like so that. So he was yeah. just scoring about 50. And what was he scoring then? Yeah. Back then, yeah. if you remember, do you remember the, the Herald? Yeah. The star on a Tuesday. The target. And he'd have the top goal scorer. He'd be yeah. top of that all the time. All the time, yeah. 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 That's crazy. We were talking about the target when we were with Christy. And it was just... Like it was just brilliant. The, the target, it? like every yeah. Tuesday, ah, it was I used to get yeah. it, read it, and walk, and I'd be straight home and bring it out. My granddad used to buy the Herald; he wouldn't buy the Star. So he, he, but he always said, "Bring the target home for me on Tuesday." He'd bring it home to him, and you just got you go through the whole lot. You'd know what's happening in the media football. You know what's happening in junior football. Absolutely. And the AUL got so much coverage on it, center of the page, yeah. blown out front front of the target page would be like. Davy Kane hat trick. Or yeah, yeah. I remember talking to Davy Lacey when we were playing. We'll be we playing together, or else when he at Valley, or else when he went to Clester. I remember meeting, meeting him and chatting to him and saying, "Are you gonna stick around with Clester?" And he was saying, "Ah, I think say Crumlin were on to him or Bluebell or whatever." Into me at Tolkien maybe, and he was like, "Nah, I don't think I'd go because like the, the AOL get a lot of a lot more." coverage like in the likes of the, the target and yeah. the paper and yeah. all and like if you're in the middle of that and you're scoring every week like junior international caps are going to come probably a little yeah. bit easier and, but yeah. it was a great a great paper was, at yeah. that time as well there was always that thing with the AOL and the Lancer seniors what league was better at the time yeah back then it was yeah. I was, I was yeah. still debate that with, with a few people and back then but back then I just went in round when we were going to get mm. come to the knowledge of the AOL and then senior my mind the AOL was kind of yeah, I'd be on, yeah. I'd have been on them lines as well, like but. Well, we played them. We played them once a year. We played them in Rovers Ground. Yeah. One all, AOL V Lens. Yeah. LSL, yeah. Yeah. Was it? There's a name for it. But, the Tom uh, Hand Cup, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. We we played them over in Rovers last Ryan one night. I went to penalties and we beat them. And Dean Kelly was playing for Leinster Senior League at the time. I remember, I remember that game. All yeah. the top oh, players. I think there'd be an argument from both sides there to Definitely, say, you yeah. know, like. Yeah. Do you know where the? You know, I was thinking this as well today. This argument as well over the years where, because I was reading, Pudgy sent me a little clip about Gar Christie getting the Ballymun job. Yeah. And at the end it says, uh, the Ballymun team, that a lot of people say were one of the top teams at the turn of the century, real strong, strong side. You know that question where they say, like, would your Ballymun team have beaten the... Mm. I fucking hate that question. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah same, you know, same. You can't, they're different unanswerable styles, different questions. Yeah. Yeah. Different I remember everything. someone having a conversation with me saying, uh, Sheriff are at the winning the league are a great team and anything, yeah, but put them in the lens of senior league and they'll finish mid table. It'll be like, come on, yeah, can't can't say something like that. Do you know what I mean? Can't, and you know, if you're out and people say things to you, and you I always kind of just try and get away, man, kind of go, look, nobody, and you never, you never ask somebody, let's say you play for Finglas and you say to somebody, would your team have beaten Sheriff? Like, no one's ever going to turn around and go, no. Yeah. Nah, yeah, I wouldn't say yeah, so. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. gonna say yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really gave them a run. But yeah, so he's obviously made the the little small trip across the road from Sandy Hill to to Ballymun then. Yeah. So who would have been managing Alts, uh, no? no, at the time it was um, well when we when we joined Ballymun it was um, what was your man's name? Um, Jackson. Jim. No, Noel King. Noel King was the manager of Ballymore the, the 21 manager yeah, Noel King, yeah. yeah so he would have been there with with Joxer um, because I always remember going down to the that little place on Sandry Lane down the, the first training session down there you know now that there's a it's, down there, there, yeah, it's all built up now yeah. but it's like, like a at, hockey pitch yeah, yeah at yeah, the time yeah, yeah. it was just a little bit Trained of land the valley, really, yeah. but I always remember going down then that was me I went forced from Sandy Hill. So I, I obviously, I went to the lads in Sandy Hill and I said, listen, Ballymun are at, after knocking. I'll tell you a funny story about them knocking on the door. But they're after knocking and they want me to sign and I'm going to sign. So I think it was, was it Philip Rooney at the time? Yeah. He was a no case, an absolute no case now, you know. But he said, look, that's no problem. He says, fine. He says, 
is that's what you want to do that's what you want to do so I left anyway and they were asking trying to get him then but he kept saying no I'm going to stay at the end of the season blah 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 but then what two weeks later he had left but when he left and went to Ballymun they blamed me yeah, <laughs> oh he got the blame yeah, yeah, do you yeah, know what I mean because you're, yeah. pro- you're probably saying that Polly fella he probably went to tell David yeah. side, which I didn't it was funny because yeah, we would say the short trip over to Ballymun it was, it was a short trip over but boy Jesus like Polly got a lot of stick in the towers of that for a long yeah, time like, <laughs> like yeah. serious, serious kind of like yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah that's where what, what things happened back then yeah. fellas, yeah. fellas were ignoring me and yeah. all yeah. and, and I'm saying like, yourself like, this is ridiculous like. yeah. and not only that it was something that we weren't used to because like, we were, as I said to you earlier like, we were just two blokes in Ballymun then all of a sudden the fellas are knocking on your door trying to sign you the, the funny story was at the time we lived in the flats and uh, we had intercoms on the doors downstairs, you know, so yeah. we'd have the buzz. So the posh flats, they must have been, yeah, but yeah. those were yeah. the same thing. So we had, who was in the flat? Who was in the flat? <clears throat> the flat, remember? The and priest. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> there was somebody in the in the sitting room talking to us about signing. For somebody, why yeah, somebody? Jimmy, had, Jimmy and Jock. Oh, she's no, having the manager in the sorry. sitting room. Jimmy, Jimmy was in the sitting room. Jock and Casey were managing. Jock and Casey were managing Kent. transport. Remember Kent. Kent. I remember transport. Kent. Transport. So, transport so, so we yeah. bally yeah. in, yeah. in, yeah. in the sitting yeah. room. They were down at the door pressing the buzzer, saying, "We can we have a chat with Davy and Polly and my ma was. I think my ma was. I don't know here, like you know. <laughs> well, do you know that that's old school? Uh, like poach, not poach, but yeah, old school yeah, signing yeah, pairs, yeah. knock, knock doors and all. Because now it's just a text or a phone call yeah. or whatever. Or you know him, try to get him up and all. So mm. it's all in person there. Back then, you'd go in, obviously. Your man's coming. Get to go into the flats, mm. up the staircase, and yeah. everything else. Like, so, and, and I don't mean like, but it's easy. If if I if I'm looking for him to sign, I text him. It's easy for him to just text me back. No, and yeah. listen, day of air. Uh, thanks very much. Yeah, I'm sitting in the sitting room. Yes, he might at least go. You know what? I got down on the train with this yeah. guy. He had the decency to come up and, and yeah, knock on my exactly, door, exactly. whatever the case may be. Yeah. You know, but but I think the old school uh, kind of, especially kind of not school boy age, but 16, 17, that should you could, should get that back. Like mm. I think that's a, a good way of doing things. Yeah. Knocking on doors, as you said. Again, that's the point I was making earlier on. I just think all the old school stuff that may, maybe it's maybe it's it's the right way that it's gone I don't know but like the, for the likes of that say if you're trying to sign somebody yeah better off standing in front of them yeah, see yeah. their reaction like as I say you could, you could text him or text him and say yeah oh yeah listen I'll be up Tuesday and he'll just look at that and go you get, oh, two, you get but I, two blue ticks and that's the end of that I also think it's not like let's just get it back society has changed yes. everything not yeah. just football like even more young than I would be saying but now stay in playing Friday night you know what I mean and then someone will, I got a video one night and he's down to karaoke in the village and I'm like what the <laughs> fuck it just came to be found it's like, what are you doing we only had three points that three points you were singing in the karaoke <laughs> get <laughs> fucked <laughs> <laughs> he's in his walk here as well I was like Jesus but so society's mad. changed it's changed everything like I walk with two young lads and every weekend they're, they're Gaelic players but like the, the main thing they talk about is going out yeah yeah then maybe mm. I might have had a match on the Sunday yeah. in Tatters. I might go to my game, but I'll definitely go out. Exactly. Where where same as yours, we would talk about the weekend at Ballymun, especially getting to rounds in the junior cup and winning leagues, you're getting to three games left, you win two and you win the league. You're talking about you in the week. Yeah. So just can't wait for playing Sunday. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And you'd stay in. hundred percent you would have. Yeah. I was talking to Robbie O'Reilly there about this about two a couple of weeks ago. He said he missed his own up his uh Kristen. Because had a match. Didn't there you go. I had a match at 11 o'clock. The Christmas at 11 o'clock. There you go. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not going. Sabrina will tell you as well. Like She she used to say, there's no point in asking him me to go yeah. Saturday night because it's just not going to go. Yeah. We missed loads of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I said, no, I have a match. Oh, Saturday night was yeah. a no-go you know? go for me. Well, like, don't get me wrong. Really. We used to and go mad after then and on the Sunday in the towers or wherever. Yeah. But like, the Saturday night was just no-go. I remember don't one ask. night we all went out. I don't know why we did it. We were playing Kevin's the next day. And we were all in the shilling, the whole team, right? And as we got more gargling, it was like, we're going to bleed in half. <laughs> Gar, Borak smashed the light and all at the back of the shilling. You punch the lights and all. He beat us 2-0 the next morning. I don't think Borak turned up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, he that was that's 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 He was mad, it's crazy, but we had good, good sessions as well at the time when the time was right. We, like, we won holidays for when the league back Premier then. Premier A and all, yeah. yeah. Like we went on two holidays 
in two years a succession of winning the league and he's won back to back did you yeah. remember yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it was pure we were the best team around then yeah he's where no he's definitely where we always looked at Ballymore yeah. when we were growing up as that yeah the only thing I'd say is, is that if people have always said you regret anything and I don't regret anything about it except that we probably should have won more we like we could have won five leagues in a row if we had stayed together yeah. but don't know what happened like they didn't go pear shaped or anything to be honest but it, sorry for cutting across you to be honest, when Nelson sent me the boat as a trophy is what you've won when then the little question here that we asked is earlier on, it's a nice it's a nice um I said to, to Nelson, that's a nice trophy cabinet. Mm. But at the same time I looked at it and went, Is that all they won? Yeah. Now look, there's two FAI juniors in it, there's mm. two Premier A's, there's yeah, Liddy, yeah. there's yeah. Nivea, there's Lens yeah. Juniors. Mm. But but from me growing up watching you as I was I would have Thought that would have been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Car yeah. Reddy said the same thing to, the, to yeah. me today, and Walk he says, Yeah, uh, two Premier A's now, nah, you've won five or six. I would have thought yeah. that. I said, We didn't, we won two. Because around for years, but we should have won probably five. I think, I think, do you think, know what I mean? It, I, again, I, I don't know why we broke up, but I think that level of football, it's not like it's not professional football, yeah. but yeah. that level of football, I find, I don't, you, you might see it with Fingless now after winning the league and that, right. It's very hard then to say to people, especially junior footballers, come on, we go and fucking really push on there. Where some people Let's might do just it go, again. exactly. Some people might go, that's enough for me. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I can be in the village in now for the next 12 years saying, oh, we won that bleeding league. Yeah. Instead of saying, no, no, be in the village in 12 years and say you won five times yeah. or something. You know? yeah. So I think that mentality kind of set in at the time as well, you know? But back back then as well, like saying, winning winning two in a row was like was unreal because when you think of the teams that were in the league at the time, back then, there was probably, Premier there was a probably was eight, strongest. seven, eight teams yeah, that could really win strong. the league. It, it was, you know? it was the rivals. Yeah. So like there was, well, then, yeah. back then, when we, when we signed it was Kevin's were the top team yeah. and Port Marnock yeah. and Ballymun. The three of them used, there was always, I think Ballymun lost three finals in a row. Um, Kevin's beat them in three finals that year. We, we, we had we a sign. We had Just a sign that, that year. Out there, <laughs> so, but like you'd you'd Kevin's, you'd Pont Marnock, you'd Ballymun, you'd you'd Usher, you'd Edenmore, Edenmore, you'd uh, Columbans. These are all teams that, like you could say, these are going to win the league yeah, this year. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That was. But, it wasn't but, just like you know, like the way Sheriff won. You knew they were going to win yeah, the league. Yeah, it was just Sheriff you know I mean? It could have been any stages, of six, it, six seven teams that yeah. could, that would have. I think as well when you won a league back then as well. Uh, you had to go to all of these teams like fucking Edmore teams Columbans you had to be tough as well as good yeah. you couldn't just rock down and win a game just because you were a better team because these fellas knew how to be good teams by bullying them yeah. and, you know yeah. so you had to be had to be, have a bit of toughness about you and be a really good organised team You know, I think that was the difference the one big difference I noticed when I went from the AOL to Leinster Senior was how all, every team we played in the first Leinster Senior League were organised mm. they were really hard to be every single team that's the one real difference that I noticed where back in the AOL you could go out and, and we handball a couple of teams you, we weren't doing that at all in yeah. SSC we were scraping through games yeah. you might have been two or three yeah, now like we were going say out the likes of that transport Kent they were out I think they were out in Crumlin I think out that way yeah. Yeah. but th th that, th that game was just a slog like because you were going out and there was fellas spitting on you and kicking you and <laughs> Yeah. Yourself that, like, and they're the games that you had to win. Like they were the ones, they were the, they were, they yeah. were the ones yeah. that you look back at and go, you know, beating them out there yeah. that night. You know what I mean? Tell you a very funny story about out there one day. Uh, we were at the working on a, a free kick during the week Tuesday towards it. Real fucking proper drill free kick. We could get a goal out. Of, you know what I mean? So we got it in the area that it was to be. We'd set up so everyone kind of got the nod. You know what I mean? I said, right, we're on here, right? I forget what the fucking thing was. Someone was running somewhere, whatever, right? So just before we were about to get going, he runs up and hits it. <laughs> now at the, at, the, at the back of the goal, there was a net, and then the houses, it went into the houses. <laughs> so Sinnott's fucking losing that plot on the line. Paul, but what the fuck? So said, well, I've been walking on that Tuesday and Thursday, and he says, oh, I wasn't up Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> fucking brilliant. Brilliant. Ah, oh, stop. Good crack. <clears throat> to be um, so long as with Ballymun to start winning things like obviously he's went up and Sina wasn't there at, the, at that time. No, the fourth season we, we was kind of it was there was all the lads were still the likes of Noel Anchors and 
um, Paul Staunton I don't know whether you just remember him back in the day Gary McCormick Kogo yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean and then it's yeah. mad because like, you think Colin Curry would have been in, the fo- in their first team at, the, at th- that stage as well he was real young playing with them and Conroy mm. he was Davey, 16 yeah. playing in goal like, do you know what I mean 16. so Davies they, yeah. they're around they're r- around a long long yeah. time compared to me and him I think it was only that season wasn't it we kind of just well we, we, we then got the West Boys. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean they transformed the whole thing then. That's funny, Chris we spoke with Christy McGalliga and he said the exact same thing. He says when the Wefter lads came in, he says that was their turn and yeah, absolutely. Oh, 100%. I remember Jimmy O'Neill had told me that Noel what he found with Noel when he came in. So when we got all the fingers lads, we had this big rough kind of tough like good a team. Bunny Moon weft that just cloned together yeah. and just yeah. All kind of rough around the edges, and yeah. and Sinet just smoothed everything off. Right. Yeah. That's the way Jimmy kind of explained it to me. Very we, good, yeah. You know, and it so. was because when you think when you think back, like like we had two seasons with Sandy Hill, it was always only kind of back playing football. Do you know what I mean? And Dave was playing whatever he was playing, but and then you had the likes of Garen Steele and all and all Dara and all and all playing for the, just weft it as well. A team like Ballymore, yeah. like yeah. very similar. Do you know what I mean? And there was no one that. There was no superstars really, like it was just really good footballers. Yeah, oh, like you put 11, 11 yeah, in, yeah, like and just you know, we were all just thrown together, and it was, together. it was a bit mad, like because we didn't know any of the lads, but you, you knew them to see or whatever, do you know what I mean? But and Scars is a very close friends now, like, like, saying, like, and, we, yeah. like they're my best mates now, yeah. right? And then the girls are all best mates still to this yeah, day, really. like, do you know what I mean? I was thinking about today, like, you will know this as well. But that, that team we had, we'll have that bond forever. Yeah. Like, when I seen Steve O'Hanna last week and Richie Kelly at this match, you know, you're just transformed back to that time. Yeah. And you'll always see these people and you'll see them at that time of your yeah. life. And you know, do you know what I mean? You, you'll know yeah. you'll see all that team you've had. No matter who you see, you'll go, we 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 doing all this together. Like, you'll never, ever not have that. That's, that's the crazy about football, though, is the bond that you, you have. With, sometimes you, you might see them more than... Your family to yeah. the same stage. If you're yeah. playing three matches a week and you're Definitely. coming straight from work, you're out. Like that's just, that's we, the bond you're gonna have. But it said you said it transforms you back to when you're like, back to that time again. Yeah, absolutely. So that's mm. obviously it sounds corny. Well, but we that's don't the have, football, we, we don't it's, everything together. But Do you even, know what I mean? Like, even we play football together, we drank together. Yeah. You know, if we were doing something that didn't involve drink, you know what I mean? We might go and do that fuck all for something. It was always the same amount, the same bunch of lads that yeah. went. Like, but if you know, go back was, to the question earlier on about missing football. I missed that time. Yeah. You know, yeah, that yeah. time of my life of Ballymun. I, yeah. I missed that. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe missing it is the wrong word, but I've such fond memories of that memories. time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't miss football, but I missed that, what we had mm. then. Yeah, you yeah know? the connection. Yeah. And the, yeah. The, the, the that's brilliant. Yeah. I love, that's that's yeah. actually lovely hear, hearing yeah. that. Do you know what I mean? Because as you said, you kind of forget about football. You've no interest in it, but yeah. them memories yeah. and exactly. being around yeah. them people take you back. Like and, and for me as well, like I know when I left Ballymun that year and I came to, to Wefta and we was well, playing was, with yeah. Jews, do you yeah. know what I mean? And I loved that, you know what I mean? Even though I was gone where, from where like I really yeah. loved, yeah. I felt at home yeah. when I came to yeah. Wefta. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I always remember the Junior Cup game we we after got Bally Monday Junior Cup mm. and there was myself and Car, uh, myself and Carl were playing for we after Carl Murray yeah and you board. and Keith <laughs> and you and Keith were playing and do, do, do you remember That's the pictures else. we took the pictures so it was me and Carl in the we after tracksuit and you and Keith in the Bally Monday tracksuit it was, it was banter like do you yeah, know what I mean yeah. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. I always remember it I always remember it that game, it was that game I think um, open the matter Christie to open the matter Christie like mm. so the lads were getting stuck into me off Bally Moon yeah. oh, it, it, it didn't bother me like cause yeah. you'd probably, you would have thrived on things like that anyway, for it and, yeah. oh yeah 100%. it was making yeah. me play better but I remember at one stage the, the ball went down a player or something someone's down injured and he turned around and me goes you all right <laughs> yeah. oh, I was kind of getting a bit emotional kind of like calm the fuck down yeah. there yeah. Yeah. but he'd be back it wasn't bothering me but it was getting to him that that's a bleeding thrown a bit in here on Paul yeah a little brother yeah. I remember going Robbie Robbie used to always ask me to come up to Wefty yeah. they'd always ring me every year every year I'd yeah. say yeah and I remember one pre-season I said I'll come up and do a, a training session because we were in Ballymun that long and sometimes you feel like you need you might need to leave to kind of get going again you know that yeah. kind of buzz you know so I said right Rob I'll go up just don't say anything to anyone Robbie 
I'm fucking Billy Moon bleeding hound me or giving out to me or someone saying something to me. He says, I don't want to be bleeding me out. So we went up, we trained in the Matter Christie. I said, no one will know I was up here at all, right? So we're over at the bushes at the road, <laughs> right? So yeah, I'm doing the bleed, shoulders and the whole lot. And I go back to the end of the queue and the bus <laughs> stops at the bus stop. Who's up the top of it? Dulo. <laughs> and he's pointing down at me. Oh, crap. But I, I, I love that that time up there now because yeah. I say was you were playing yeah. really, you were a real smashing footballer and Dar- Darren O'Brien was playing was do you know what I mean and you, and you yourself and that but there was there was really good football we played mm. really good football yeah. like I, I, I was playing centre midfield he had me playing centre midfield we were playing in a 4-3-3 yeah, yeah I think yeah. me you and Daz yeah, that's right, yeah. in the middle a few times and yeah. what happened with you Paul? you got, got your groins yeah, your so groins went in the AOL that remember day remember the AOL yeah I thought I pulled my groin I remember but it turned well. out that I pulled a muscle in my stomach yeah. and that so I didn't play. Well, you didn't that play was again me. for Wefty. No, that was me for Wefty, yeah. I remember that game you got, you went off. Mm. I don't know, were you had to coming on? Or were you had to be struggling with your groins and you were injured and then you came on in the first half or something? Maybe I could be wrong I don't know, that. but as I said to you, I, I, I overstretched yeah. and it felt like I tore my groin. Do you know what I mean? I remember and it, yeah. I, as I said, I, I didn't play after that because it was actually a muscle and the physio that I went to said to me, I just don't know how you're after doing that. Mm. That's, that, that muscle is unterrible. So it was tucked, it's your, it's, in, it's in there, goes into your groin yeah. and tucks in under. Do you know what I mean? So, and and, yeah. that's, and I, yeah. that's what I thought. Yeah. I, I remember here, I remember, Chris Christie was the manager at the time, wasn't yeah. he? I remember yeah. Christie saying to me, mm. I think Paulie's gone. Mm. Like, I think there's a bad injury. And I was saying, oh, well, fuck, so we were only into getting a hold of you. You know yeah. what I mean? You were at the, I think you got right, one yeah. or two injuries. And then you start playing regularly. Mm. And it wasn't until then, I remember playing against you loads of times, same with you, Davey. But you know the way sometimes, you know someone's a good player, but until you play with them, See you go. Them. Oh yeah. man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Graham Doran came him, to me yeah. after that game because Graham Doran yeah. would have been playing us, and he says, "Because you were controlling the game, I remember the game, mm. and you were you're forced. Everything was just so simple: force touch passes, way pass. Everything was like perfect, and we were going. This is fucking great playing here with Polly." And Doran said, "You see, when Polly went off, like we just lost the game. Like it, it, he's that good. Like for us." We're at the notice, and as soon as he went mm. off injured, and then that was it. That then. was it. Then no, never. And I was that. actually, I was actually very disappointed when, yeah. when that oh, did happen. Myself because, because I say I was enjoying it. What would be then? Day, probably thirty three, maybe only. Yeah, yeah, it would have been. Yeah, yeah. So that was it for me. I after that, I don't think I played. I, I didn't play for. Probably would have went that. back to Ballymun and played yeah, again. I don't did you I, maybe? I don't even think I played for Ballymun. It was funny because. maybe I did actually. Sorry, I did. I went back to Ballymun. Because it was around the time when they brought that fella Noel in. Because I remember finishing playing and I was playing Roy Full. Roy. And I was thinking to myself, this is a piece of piss. Yeah, this Roy yeah. Full thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then I jacked... Piece of piss, all that crap. I jacked it, I jacked it in then because I remember helping him till the end yeah. of the season. And then after that, that, that was, was it. done then, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a kind of a... Um, kind of mixed emotions for us. Well, for me, definitely. Because when Paul went to Wefty, we, we won the treble. We won the junior. That's probably. right, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. We won the Nivea. And it was kind of, I was kind of sad for Paul. Mm. I was saying, you know, but, but I wasn't stay. sad though because the way I looked at it was, I had my junior, my junior medal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I had my Premier A's, I had my Leinster Juniors or whatever. I'd won it all. I'd, there was nothing that there was no trophy. I'd looked but, back but, on and said, and but says, I didn't get that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. you're happy then, as, as you said, you're, you're happy playing for after. Yeah. Oh. Gone. So so you could easily be in there, got three medals, not been happy, not played as much. Or did you go over to Wefta, obviously you got injured and everything else, but go to Wefta and just be happy playing football. When we won the Junior Cup the first time, that was my overall feeling was like... Uncomplete. What the fuck? We're at the winning this now. We have that now in, 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 in the, the lock yeah. yeah. but, but even just fucking weeks after, <clears> probably, we were on the gag for fucking days, but... Uh, I think I got to over a week. So you slept in the towers, I took, did you? I took the oh, Monday off, incredible. right, and then... We were in the, me and him walked up to the towers on the moon. We didn't, we went to the snooker hall, do you remember? So it was the old, the old roundabout and all before they were doing all the, the regeneration. And I remember walking up and we said, we'll go up to the snooker hall and have a couple of games of pool or snooker. So when we walked up and we went into the pool hall, it was, it was, it was empty. And I said to him, come on, we just go into the towers, pop the head in. And Mark Kelly's dad was sitting at the bar. And in the space of an hour or two, everybody, everybody was there. there. So that led around. into Tuesday, that led into Wednesday, and I said, there's no point going back to work. <laughs> Deadly. Deadly. So excuse that one now. Well, like, even though, like, I always go back to them, the, the, the league, that we won the league that year, we conceded 10 goals in the whole league. And we conceded, we conceded two goals in the first round of the FEI Junior, down on the side of a pitch. Remember, Killer Villa? We should have been knocked out. 
we were behind twice and I don't know how we, I don't know how we won the game we won the game 3-2 well, but we didn't concede a, a goal in any round after that then it was Paul McNally and, and, and we had two Elfless playing centre half we had Mel Kelly and Ray Duffy Ray Duffy was 40 66 at the <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, and when he brought him in, we were all looking at him because we were all we were young and we were looking yeah. at him going, Where does he have to get in this? I fella remember Steve, from? Well, Steve Hannah always talking very highly of oh, him. Yeah. He was brilliant, oh, he's really good. I remember Paul McNally saying something to me up here for the 35s because I used to always say, Blaine, defenders, me ass, strikers win your games, and McNally said, But defenders win your legs, yeah, that's the difference. You know mm. what I mean? And I remember when he said it, and it was like. That's a really good one there. You yeah. know? Mm. And that's what we had back then. We didn't really... I remember hearing this before, someone saying, I think it might have been Danny Crowley. You know, you're not a forward. You're not a winger around. You're a defender. right? No, First no, of all. Yeah, yeah, nobody wants to be a defender. Let's be honest. Um, and he'd say, love being a defender. You know, like, be a defender like the way a fella plays up front. He loves playing up front. You love being a defender. Yeah. You know, really in love. Had, like, like love that. making last this yeah, well, we love had clearing her off the line. Up. Love winning a header. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, had yeah, that yeah, with Richie. Yeah. Richie, Richie Kelly, Kelly was that. Do you know what I mean? He was like, they're not getting past me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And he loved it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I loved playing. Yeah, he was just a midfield. defensive rifle when he just loved the challenge. Yeah, 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 one on that's one. Because yeah. 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 when I started with Sandy Hill, I started as a centre forward. When I went to Valley Mun, I was a centre forward. And after a couple of weeks, Sin had moved me out wide. So we played all my time then as a as a winger. A right winger, with yeah. With Mun. But I had Richie behind me, which was great. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. he was the toughest part. You, you know yourself, mm. like... He was really hard to get Brilliant past. Brilliant what yeah. he did. What, Do you know what I mean? What he, what he did, he wasn't really good. But Technically, he was, yeah, no, yeah. But he was yeah. brilliant at what he did. Yeah. You know, he just couldn't get by. I remember we played Calester in a cup. Gas man, Richie. Ah, so I was only texting Legend. him during the day. He's on holidays. His ankles all swollen and black and blue from that match from last week. <laughs> yeah. So we, we played a match down in Calester and Eddie Hayes. Do you remember Eddie Hayes? Yeah. Eddie was the top kind of midfielder around at the time. And Sinner had a bleeding brainwave where he put Richie in the middle. In the middle. So you, wherever he goes, you go. Twenty minutes into the match, Eddie has red card. Good luck. On. Just put Richie back. Right for for that that Richie, the, like, Deadly, yeah. There was not none of like Richie wouldn't be going in there thinking right. Well, now what I'm going to do with him? He'd have been going in there going. What am I going to do? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Falling over him, maybe probably and he'd be winning the ball. Sorry, yeah, Eddie, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't go in there thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the 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 first FBI junior. That you just won. You got a hat trick, Davey, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I should have had five. Yeah? Yeah. Tr- first half hat trick, was it? First half, 20, 21 minutes. First goal, I wow. after seven seconds. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, it, was, it was crazy. Was cause... it. Like, because you know, like, it's a bit of a surreal, obviously, it felt like a surreal moment, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, you're going to the FA Junior, as you said there, like, oh, when you won it, you couldn't believe it. We're at the, actually winning this when you're getting to the final, and you're like, right, FA Junior final, the biggest thing you can win here. Yeah. And then buying training look before half time, you're going, hold on a minute, what's, yeah, yeah. Like, it, like, well, it what's was crazy. Cause what are the feelings and emotions like even, then? Even what happened before it, like <clears throat> when when we went out to do the warm up and we came back in and they had taken all our gear out of the dressing room and it was all out in the corridor because they were Kevin's, they, want to, they wanted, that, that's the dressing room that they, right. so that kind of, that fueled the, the fire more in us as well though, but yeah. like that, coming in at half time, training look, I was nearly crying. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like Richie Kelly says to me, like, we just, we just have to defend here yeah. we win the game yeah. we and don't uh, concede here we, and that only conceded two goals and to be he fair like, like, he got three but he should have had five or six do you know what I mean he missed you missed some sitters in the well, second half the easiest one out of them all yeah. I went around the goalkeeper and all, all the way was, I was about 25 yards out I just had to tap well, just slide it in so I took an extra touch just ran it off the pitch and then I got a chance coming in from the left and Bordock is standing there and the goalkeeper's here I just had to give him the ball and I tried to shoot. And you had your hat trick already? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Al, he lambasted me for I'd years. So, yeah, your so. mindset changes though, like, because I know for, for me going back out second half, I was thinking, I'm not attacking. There's no point. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just going to sit here with Richie. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I make um, sure that these don't score. If that was an indifferent game, it was a league game or a fourth yeah. round of the cup, you're probably saying, let's go and go and go yeah, out here. Four and four. You know yourself, and FBI final. Yeah. What was starting 11 then? So it was Davy Conroy, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Richie. Mel, Ray Duffy, Colin Curry. It was unfortunate for Dara. Dara missed out. 
Yeah, there I didn't play that for him, did he? That got that injury. That was the bad one. That yeah. really, yeah, 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 I really, I didn't yeah. know that. Really I thought there I played that. No, no. So Mark Kelly came in to the middle with Christie, um, Steo on the, the left, me on the right, and Dave and Dave and Gar up front. What a team! Yeah. We 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 done this with team. Barry Cavanagh yeah. on the bench. You can get into that team. Yeah. You know, what a player he was yeah. Yeah. didn't Barry go to Kilbarrick then mm. and kind of became the player he was yeah. and then yeah he came back then yeah to he came back to Bally Moon well, we, we had done this thing for the whole season this is no I don't know if Christy told you this it was Sinnott's idea where we never go back from the tip off let's mm. let's tell every team that we're here to go forward so we tip off and we go forward me, Gar and Christy and nothing ever came out came over and we got to the Junior Cup final and it worked all the way into the box. Some teams only three or four touches. Christy, yeah. Christy gave it to me. I gave it to Gar. Gar gave it back to me. Chipped it all the goalkeeper. It was the first time, <laughs> first time it, it ever worked. Yeah. It was weird. Was That's that first goal, was That's it? That's the first goal, yeah. But isn't that brilliant? Like, I think that even in professional football and any sort of football, but you know the time that coaches put into doing things, set pieces, set, like if you, you do you do a certain piece, set pieces, like you probably have four save for the season. Mm. You're lucky if you score two, three Absolutely. of them. But mm. like persistence, there you go. Probably the last game of the season that probably would have been the FUA Junior. Mm. And he's going to do it and it yeah. and, it, and, it, and it works. So like yeah. it just means walk to it, keep walking to it and it eventually will pull off. And in that in turn, it probably was the most important goal. Yeah. He's got it'll probably won't use the the game, like the but, early and that, goal bank. And that, and that was the thing about Niles in it as well. Like you haven't really spoke about him, but that he wouldn't have let you let's say well they didn't walk the last three games so we just, we, we won't do it it was do it we're yeah. doing it and yeah. that's the end of it yeah. it will come yeah. off at yeah. some stage there you go and persistence yeah. we'd have little things that Noel would bring in as well you know for, for playing a game down the country and you're winning 1-0 and he'd say to me before the game if we're 1-0 up and there's a few minutes to go and we get a throw at right full you go back and take it but don't take the throw just pick the ball up and start course and say for fuck and then just throw it away and pot your way back up to the yeah. pitch. Just a little small, small thing. Yes. A lot of times you get a yellow for it, but you're still killing off a bit yeah, of time. Yeah. He was unreal, though. Yeah. We see yeah. it was unreal. See, we loved Noel. Everybody loved him. And he loved us. Yeah. I know that sounds a bit dramatic, but we did. Mm. Like when Noel left, we were all in the AOL crying. Mm. So that's the end of us now. Yeah. Well, nobody else can yeah. have what we have if he's gone. Mm. And, and even now, like we... We all rocked up to one of his birthday parties <laughs> out somewhere and he was over the, the moon man. to see us all. And we were all there. It wasn't just three fellas that showed up. We all went. Do you know what it is you said on? But seeing lads like that brings you back to when, so it obviously brought him back. Yeah. To, 100%. That moment and winning their trophies and yeah. of the recognition he got for that. So I think his family were looking going, not this <laughs> bullshit. I thought we got it in there. Yeah. He, just, went, he moved on to League of Ireland, didn't he go 21s? Because I, yeah, I went yeah. to 21s with Shamrock Rovers and he was my manager. Yeah. yeah. Funny I, funny story, I actually, a quick one. We, we, me and Carl Murray, I think we left Tolga Rovers and went to sign 20, 21 football. I was getting a lift over off Carl. Carl was driving me up, training over in Raffarn and playing and Tala playing the AOL. So it was always, Carl wasn't really getting in, but I started getting in. And then when Carl Carl left, I was like, how am I going to get here? Yeah. And all says to me, right, we're meeting over in the Spawell Hotel for a game down and playing Cove or something. <laughs> Saturday morning. And I was like, yeah, so I'll see you there. And all I said to myself, well, I'm not going to be able to get over yeah, to the yeah. Sparwell. Mm. You know what I mean? Only about 18, 19. How am I going to get over there? Didn't end up going. And end up, Carl ended up going up to the Valley. So I went up to the Valley then, got a transfer in. And I was getting in, had a play, been playing well. And, and went up to the Valley, wasn't getting a sniff. Game out on the AUL. He must have been training with Rovers out there, and I'm sitting on the bench with the Valley and all I heard was Alan Barry, you stupid fucking cunt! I had you play my fucking channel, Rovers. Now you're on the bench for Valley fucking pie. He's <laughs> uh, mad. Yeah, he's fucking mad. Oh, he's was brilliant. Wasn't he? Yeah, sprint. But uh, but how did he whack whack heads together? Are you and Dara in the towers that night? Yeah, remember? He was love. We was, we, he was, he was well linked with going down to Kilkenny or something. With a couple of it, apparently. <laughs> Not we ever knew because we just said no we're not leaving but uh, he, he had said there was a few League of World clubs looking to sign me and Derek and uh, we had a few ones and I said well I, I'm not going anywhere I'm staying here like you know what I mean Mosey said the same and he, he loved the two of us <laughs> did he yeah, yeah. <laughs> big red dots on <laughs> he could do he knew how to deal with different yeah, players like yeah. for me he used to drop me for t- two games yeah. maybe and I'd be saying what's he dropping me for I'm playing well and all scapegoat we used to say you know what I mean? but it was just because he knew it's, he'd probably seen something and he'd go 
I, I get this out of him now and he dropped me yeah, and then yeah. I'd be out of team for two games and I'd be f- chomping at the bit to get back in and then when I got back in okay. I was playing really well like you know he, he was like that he knew how to deal with yeah. everyone's kind of different personality like you know just just touching on what you said there Davey like the the interest of League of Ireland like did did anything that, that like did anything ever come about like with that that obviously you said there Kilkenny were probably interested but any other teams come in or even like say the Leinster Senior League teams at that time were they coming in and asking for you or did no, you ever I, have a I don't like, remember be, any Leinster Senior or anything interest there now as I said Robbie would ring me all the time yeah and then Noel told us about interest in certain clubs and then I got a chance to go to Carlisle and we were, up, we were at the, the, F, the FAI Awards. Christy had won it that year. And uh, we were on our blade in tuxedos and I was steady. But uh, I, Roddy Collins came over and sat at the table and he says, he was managing Carlisle, he was getting yeah. the Carlisle job. Yeah. And he said, I'd love you to come over and I'll get you really fit and the whole lot. And I was like, fucking hell, man. But then Schneid was having Jim Bob at the time. My young was right at that time. Mm. Yeah. And to be honest, I bought someone has said this to me before do you think Davey do you ever look back and go because they say Jez you could have you could have made it I think yeah. physically technically and ability I could have probably pushed on a bit mentally probably not mm. I don't think I ever had it in me to go I can do that not not like not low on confidence yeah. just I never you just miss kind of the, the, the lads and the, yeah, the lads I, at I, home I, and family yeah and I didn't and have yeah. the, the thing to go yeah. To push to go yeah, to push yeah. on us like, I'm, I'm good yeah, 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 yeah. yeah do you know what I mean Bally Moon is our club yeah. isn't it like, you know what after was our club yeah. like. it was our area as well you yeah know? like yeah you used to front fingers you're playing for fingerless teams we're from Bally Moon it meant something to you of course did, did, you know did you ever see when you're walking around with the kids and all that's Davy Kane that's Polly Kane also the recognition of that you're, you're like kind of a little bit famous walk around yeah, Bally what, One as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what? Yeah, now these young boys go on. What the fuck? Yeah, to be honest with you, I, I would have because me and Nelson even spoke loads of times on the like the obsession we had with with junior football, like and AOL, and before we even would have played, and like the obsession we had with going up to watch Weft and Mark Christie, and even better, watching Bally Moon and Yews. Like we would have looked at you as like yeah, yeah. as them sort of people, and we were kids. We'd go, mm. "That's Davy Kane. That's Paulie Kane." Remember as we said about the target reading something in, in the target and it was yours you had like a little headline I was I, I was at the giving it in to my granddad and he says ah oh, yeah there's a great word about Davy Kane there and you read it out Davy Crane Davy Kane the best um, the best junior AOL centre forward there has ever been like do you know what I mean yeah yeah and man that still sticks into me yeah. to this day and oh, like you you probably would be from from me looking in on it definitely it, centre forward boys we spoke about I think before we, we we spoke about John O'Rock as well and the, like the amount in that era of centre forwards when you was played like you John O'Rock Barry Kavanagh Davy Lacey, Lacey Mick Akio yeah. Gary Bordock yeah. like all the like yeah. they were Mick such a, yeah that like they were all brilliant yeah, yeah. brilliant but I, I think you would have edged it up, up for me from a centre forward boys like I would have looked at you as the best they would have but again uh, for me it's like, it's like would that team beat that team? I know exactly yeah. what you're no, saying. No, yeah, right? yeah, you know, yeah. And I understand that. You yeah. look at these centre forwards, and again, if you play with them, like if you went down and played with Mick Akio for six years, you'd probably say He's fucking mm. ten times to play with David. Yeah. Was. Do you know what I mean? No, I get you. Yeah. So, but I, I remember being like back then, and I, like I could feel it myself, and and I I'd come out on the weekend and say. Well, I'm gonna get near me. Yeah, you could feel it. The confidence. Yeah, confidence. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then yeah. obviously, like any sport, you could throw a spell where you couldn't hit a blade and burn down with a bad job. And that's where the mentality part comes into it. Yeah, yeah. You're get yourself out of the rough. You have to kind of get out of it. Like even I played a game last year for Kevin's our schoolboy team against the home farm team we played from your schoolboys. They all got together. We met up with all these lads. It was brilliant. The exact same team. And I missed three chances in the game. So I was lying in bed that night. <laughs> it's still at you. She says to me, what's wrong, Jess? You don't want to fuck <laughs> You do not want to know. Last week, fella, uh, Maka put a cross into me. Side full, goalkeeper, 17 he was. Just comes right into the six-yard box. All I had to do was side foot it into the goal. It hits me calf and rolled straight to the goalkeeper. And my calf was sore after it. <laughs> I went home that night and I was like, what are you doing? Just do what I do. Just don't turn up. Just don't turn up. Over there, yeah. This is one thing I don't miss about that time. And it's the one thing that we needed at that time. And I had it then, right? Was that obsession with 
playing well and worry and yeah. what's going to happen, what's yeah, going to happen. Yeah. I don't miss that feeling that we have. You know, you're nervous yeah. during the week. Uh, it's semi final. Yeah. What the fuck? But I'm glad it's gone. But I'm glad I had that had feeling that, when yeah, I played because yeah. I think you needed that. I feel feeling. the same I'm as a player. Yeah. I feel the same. I still get out 25. So yeah. As, Coming in before a match, kind of a little bit nervous, whatever. But as you said, I made, uh, people say, you play well and I've made a mistake. That's a way I'm going home with that. Mm. And I think we played a couple of weeks ago. We think we won 3 or something. And I, I think made a mistake. And I know it was 3-1. I think I made a mistake and they scored. I was going home snapping. She goes, did you win? Yeah, 3-1. So what the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's, 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 old, that's old skill yeah, though, you know yeah. what I mean? That's how you'd... But you had it, didn't you? Like, as like you wouldn't have played at the, the highest level of amateur football if you didn't have that like... Oh, that yeah. goal, I want to be the best player today. You know what I mean? That, yeah, that, yeah. Them good nerves, yeah. what you said on the pitch, like yeah. coming out before a game. Like, you, like you're glad you don't have it, but you used to love it at the time. And, and you needed it. Yeah, I, think, mm-hmm. you know? yeah. I remember going from that feeling, we'd won the Junior Cup and I went to Finland a week later to play with the Junior International Team. Mm. And I went with that thing. Yeah. And I came home with the opposite. Really? Because I was playing against players that I just... They would have bleeding way. Yeah. Yeah. Junior cuff level, yeah, different yeah. level, different level, different level altogether. And and it made could yeah. I ended up just saying, right, just start running here, Dave. Just start chasing everybody because yeah. there's nothing else. Just happening. just be a, just make it hard for yeah. other people, like you know. So, so obviously, he's he's two. We stepped into the juniors together. This is no, Dave, no? Dave, Dave was in a forced. Yeah. Then then you stepped in. Like so, what was the what was in. the setup like over there uh, with the juniors? <laughs> I got <Paul> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Nelson, about that. The first time I ever went down there, right, and we walked into the dressing room, and there's a plastic bag like you get out of Tesco. I mean, a white plastic bag hanging on the hook with a sticker with your name wrote on it. Salt. <laughs> yeah, but this is it for me. Yeah, made it. But the thing about it is, is people I don't know. People probably think that the junior international was unbelievable. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, it was great. Like, guys, you got to play some. Like, I played in Bosnia. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I played in Sweden. Do you know what I mean? But there was other little bits of bits of it that you, you like, you, like we got back from Bosnia and we had to go into a, a room in the airport and take the tracks off and give the tracks. I was back. just going to say. So the setup. So there's was, other bits. Like there was. Ah, it was different. Like you know, yeah. the setup wasn't as great as maybe our club. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Now, or as you'd expect it to be. <laughs> But I'll give you a funny story, keep it on Tommy, right? Before we got into it, they played a tournament up in Scotland. It was, it was, what was that tournament called? The Quadrangular. Quadrangular. Yeah. Quadrangular. And uh, he said they pulled up to the where they were playing, right? And there was kids everywhere, all <laughs> with their pens and pieces of paper and all. And the bus pulled up and he, he said there was bleeding kids all over the place waiting for them to get off. And as they got off, Bruno said he could see the expressions <laughs> and the kids' faces changing on. Who the fuck <laughs> that is? <laughs> it was mad. It's it was mad, like, because when you talk to kids, like, they used to say to you, we played for Ireland, did you? And I was like, yeah, what were the, the senior team? And they were like, no, the junior international team. Who were they? Like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. You just don't get it. But, like, but like, for, for us, that's the pinnacle for us. Yeah, yeah. That, definitely, was, yeah. that was always ah. my main aim, was to, to get a junior international yeah. cap. And, I, and it ran right through me up until I finished with Crumlin like I mean last year or so I'm still saying to myself oh, I'd love him yeah, I'd yeah, love him yeah. like that was, yeah. the, that was the pinnacle like, ah, yeah. that of an amateur football absolutely like, you know I mean? don't get me wrong it is it's, it's fantastic do you know mm-hmm. what I mean like as I say like we went we went to Sweden and we played in the Ulevi Stadium I don't know what he is now like, it's the, one of the top 60,000 no there's no one yeah. there's no one there. yeah. people in. <laughs> but standing there like and the national anthem being played and all do you know what I mean it's, it's unreal like it's really how many caps Paul how many caps you have 15 Davey 15. 15 as yeah. well you both yeah. have 15 yeah. and it was funny back then because you only got a cap cap yeah a physical cap for, before, wasn't for it? a tournament for a tournament yeah. yeah so if you go and play in the quadrangular you got a cap for those Three, three or four games, games. Yeah. then same with the Regents Cup we, we, so friendlies and things like that weren't nah. caps well, I, I don't class them as cap well they weren't classed as caps but we, we played loads of friendlies I was just so about to say when I seen you that you that when you was out there saying they're 15 caps each I was kind of like I'm nearly sure they played more yeah, than that you play a lot of League of Ireland teams yeah, and, yeah. and well, actually play the North or play England yeah, yeah we played the North or, in yeah, friendlies yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. so you 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 scored one and it was a three for yourself there yeah, was it? Yeah. So the feeling. Of, of my score. goal was in the uh, like in the AOL on the main pitch in the AOL. Right. Do you know what I mean? Because like, we played the quadrangular and it was in Dublin, so we were staying in a hotel in town. So uh, it was mad because you're leaving the hotel on the bus. And passing around. Yeah, driving. Yeah, driving nearly past 
Bally money fingless. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You're playing your game, you're getting back on the bus. And you'd expect them to say you're going home. Yeah. You know, you're going back into the hotel. Yeah. Like, it was great, like, you know. Yeah. yeah. But uh yeah, my, I, I always remember it was I think I was playing I think it was up front. It could have been playing up front. But the ball was played into me and it was on say the eighteen yard <coughs> box, but whatever way I spun onto my left foot and I didn't even look, but I, I hit a first time and it was right into the bottom corner. The so old was, lefty, it was, was it? It was a good yeah, goal yeah, now, yeah, I have yeah, to say, yeah. you know, but yeah, me so one and a, only. Yeah, but it's a good feeling, was it? Ah, yeah, yeah I have to say, yeah. yeah. Family and all. But it's great because that's what's going to say. Your family yeah, were out, able to go because it was in Dublin. Yeah, do you know right. what I mean? It's brilliant. Obviously, yeah. it's, that's the memory that they'll have as well. Obviously, yeah. as, as ah, well yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. When we were in Finland, my sister actually sent over all the paper cuttings. I came down to the reception one day, and one of the managers said, hey, "There's a package for there for you at the hotel." I opened it up and it was all she'd cut out all the Deadly. stuff in the paper yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, was like it was good for us as well being brothers that we were in it at the same time yeah, do you yeah, know what being I mean being in squads and being yeah, a, a, of course like, it was obviously if he was down obviously he said Finland was a bit different after the FIG junior if your head was down obviously Paulie could have had a word with you and kind of got the head back up you know and yeah well, well at that time he, he wasn't in the oh, he did. In I wasn't the in the squad I wasn't in the yeah but <laughs> still trying to get me in yeah. I remember <laughs> going over there and I was the only player on Valley Moon that was picked and I was kind of raging yeah because you, you, you're playing against all these fellas week in week out and then all of a sudden you're playing you're with teammates them. and I think I think it actually affected it definitely affected me over the years because I I became close friends with Dougie Dolan who we kick fucking lumps kick out of fuck out of you and it changes the it changes the way you when are you're playing against them that aggressiveness goes out yeah, yeah. if you know somebody yeah, 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 yeah you yeah. don't you yeah. probably won't go oh, fuck this yeah. you know and yeah. but you know it as well obvious. you get from it though well, I got from it as well you, you meet you meet fellas that like I've really good friends now with Decky Considine off Pike Right. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. so, from being in the from international being in the cell, international right. cell. Yeah, like, yeah, so I come up here one day. I don't know. I think it was the one of the 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 drugs yokes. Now the way he's yeah. doing the fire suits, and he's here. Do you know what I mean? And I'm saying, what are you doing here? Like <laughs> and get, hugging him and all. Like Deadly. I know him all my life. Like yeah. Yeah. This and even mental. Even yeah. Aidan McDonald off Port Marnock. Yeah. My yeah. last cap uh, was in was in uh, Scotland, and I wasn't gonna go. I was saying, it's no point in going, I'm not going to play. And, and Ada rang me and says, are you going? I says, I think I'll pull out of it. He says, don't be silly, bud. We'll just go. We'll go on the drink. We'll just do what we have to do and we'll yeah. go on the drink. But we, both of us were on the bench. I come on the second half, he come on the second half. And then you get a night out. So yeah, yeah. we went absolutely bananas in, in uh, Glasgow. We, and we were last. banging on the door the next morning. We were late. We, the, the alarm clock never went off. And uh, I always remember getting on the bus and Smith just... He was looking down and he just looked up at the tills and they'd say, I oh, said, that's my last that's one. The end that was it. definitely my <laughs> yeah, last camp because yeah, yeah, he yeah. wasn't picking me again. Yeah, yeah. Paul said, you get a night out at the end, you know. So we were actually all together, uh, all the teams. And uh, we, it was myself, Keith, and the fella called Jackie Mulcahy played for Freebooters at the time. You just might remember this fella if you've seen him. Mm. Really good player. We was fucking nuts. So we went back to the room. And whatever we had a great night down the disco or whatever uh-uh. disco that's when you know you're in your 40s <laughs> disco <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> disco tech <laughs> well we got up the next morning to go down to get the bus right and Jackie wasn't moving Keith was like come on he said no I'm staying here he's like you're not staying we have to go home right? but anyway Keith just said fuck it we'll go down the bus no sign of him so uh, we're sitting on the bus and Brown was like for fuck's sake so we went back up and the door was locked so Keith went to kick the door in but the fucking whole door he oh, fell off. down, we. And he eventually dragged Jackie down onto the bus. So uh, there was a bit of fracas then. Smith got off the bus and he was in the hotel. So he got back on. The pause says, gone. Oh, I swear <laughs> to God, <laughs> the taxi up. He, <laughs> uh, he says, "Whoever is at the kick in that door in, I want to know who it is now. You'll fucking never play for this team ever again. I'm fucking warning you, whoever that was. I want to know now who it was. And he's going on for ages." I want to know. I'm just sitting there saying, "Fucking hell!" And uh, Bruno's in it ten years at this time, yeah. and uh, he keeps going on. It and Kate says, "Jerry, Jerry, it was me." And Smith goes, "All right, not to worry about it." <laughs> <laughs> it had been me, it would have been yeah, the best. Yeah, 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 get the body muller out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna rub him down. And like, who who kind of would have been in, in as a squad squad players? Like I know you mentioned Keith Brown there. Who else? And we had Barry Flynn, Dougie Barry Flynn, Barry Flynn, great Flynn, player. Yeah, yeah, what a player. Yeah, yeah. And he was what a brilliant player. captain and a brilliant bloke. Yeah, lovely, and Gary, lovely bloke. And Gary yeah, McCormick, yeah. Gary McCormick at the time was one of the best players in the country. 
that play at centre half. He was, yeah, 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 he was yeah, yeah. brilliant. He was top dog. Like he would have been one of the top. Gar- top Gary Gar- if you win the yeah. you did, you won the national yeah. caps, yeah. Right, right. I actually, when I got into the junior international team, I asked Gary for his jersey in the towers one day, and he brought me up to the boot of his car and gave me one. Mm. And then I got into it then. Because yeah. going back again now, you know, this is where we all wanted to be. I yeah. wanted, to, I yeah. wanted one of the jerseys, the lads that played in the junior international. That's- like my week in Finland, I spent asking Keith Brown to get one of the lads to show me one of the caps. Right. Because I wanted you it. wanted yeah. yours. Yeah, yeah. See it, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And he brought me down to the room and they were all laughing going, yeah. I was like, fuck yeah, yeah. yeah but Gary, was Gary was, yeah, he was unreal. He really was, wasn't he? Yeah. So <laughs> you had the likes of Austin Hannon, you Stan, know, the goalkeeper, yeah. and then you did the likes of Philip Long. They were, remember Philip Kevin's, Long, Kevin's yeah. rifle. Class. Unreal. Unbelievable. No, I can't remember ah. that. Many, many, many of us and events he got into the, the team all together. So at one stage, so it was, it was yes. Davey Conroy, myself, Dave, um, Steele was there, wasn't Steele. he? Steele, Dara, Dara, Dara. Dara. Christy, obviously, Christy. Christy. Mm. Um, Borda couldn't play because he played the league. Yeah, yeah. That was, so it was different um, back then. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Then they play. changed. See, they changed. They changed from sorry, junior sorry, international yes. to amateur, to that, amateur right. international. Mm. So we yeah. played junior and amateur. Yeah. And when when it went to amateur, it was brilliant because they brought in some the smart. media players. You, you, you know, sailor, yeah. you know, sailor. Ian, um, Ian, Cherry, Ian Cherry was it? Cherry was in it. They played. Blue Bell. They played for Blue Bell. Bell. Yeah. No. Wayside. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. They, yeah. him and his brother played. Right. And uh, but they brought the you could see the difference when they brought the Lancer senior lads yeah. in. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. The went up. Look, they played a man. It's sailor was his nickname. They played him against Bosnia up front on his own, and you want to see him? He was unbelievable. Yeah. Think he was good. You yes. shouldn't see this, fella. Yeah. And I think that answers the question, a little bit of the question from earlier, when it went amateur, the level went like that. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. stepped up, yeah. yeah. like quality So you just players. didn't have the pick from the juniors, the, the yeah. best of the juniors and the best of intermediate yeah. came together like yeah. them. Yeah, see the, see the problem then was the Regents Cup, if if you'd played a minute for at Lone Town, yeah, that's forget right. it. But yeah, we played in the Regents Cup and there was a, a team from a region in Spain they had three fellas on the books at Real Madrid but we crazy, couldn't get yeah. leading job blogs that played left full for as long for three and a half Garth, minutes and then it? went on the gargle he can't play <laughs> because I remember uh, when we were with Tolke Steel Coslo got called up yeah. to the obviously the intermediate so at this time and he went and done a few training sessions and I think like the game was the, the next day and someone rang can't play Steel Coslo there he um, played for UCD uh, 15 years ago yeah. ridiculous like, isn't it send them home yeah, yeah. yeah. Ridiculous, yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. Crazy. There was a lot of that. I think though, there's a lot of fellas in that in that boat that could have played. Was, it looks yeah. like, I mean, Garbor that would have been in that during the team. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Do you know what I mean? Hundred percent. Hands down. I literally, I literally got into that team, and I'm fucking convinced of this because I could hold the ball up. Right. I wasn't picked to score goals. I'd say if you asked Jerry Smith, you wouldn't ask him, but that's the reason why he picked me to hold the ball up when right. the ball come up air end. I'd hang on to I that. heard Jerry was very strict on a style of play 100% defend from the top yeah. and and if you didn't know what you had to deal with like this was, this was the other thing about his team when you went onto a pitch you weren't going out to play for Bally Moon you say I'll do whatever the fuck yeah. I want here you, you wouldn't be able to play your own game you have to when they have a throw at right full you have to know where you are when we have a throw at left side of the midfield you have to be in the same place when the left full gets it you have to be in the middle there so he can't go down the line and he can't come inside he has to go back to the yeah. goalkeeper well, he when tell you kick out you have to be Fuck. he tell you that you know you're not playing for Ballymun yeah, here yeah. don't stop doing what you're doing for about you're, you're not with Ballymun you're with us this is what you have to do play, he had yeah. he had he had some fellas rattled over the years he had Coco rattled he had a stage where Coco used to write the drills on his arms <laughs> and all didn't he was that many of them <laughs> and he'd, he'd like he'd lift up his thing and he'd have something that wrote there there and we'd tell him what the fuck are you doing he says oh, this is this this free kick when I had to like he was rattled do you know what I mean mm-hmm. but like he it's Smith, as you said though, when you lens, when you stepped up the leagues to the lens, you know, it was when you just went and played, they had structure. Do you know what I mean? I, so I found it. Yeah, yeah, so that's what you had yeah. in, in the juniors was. I found structure, it went from so, there yeah. to there. It was huge. Do you know yeah. what I mean? When yeah. they when they came in, it just went the it level was massive. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I remember the first two weeks because we got two. I think they kind of took over the team then. Really, yeah, you always know? forget about that. You know, when you say what things did you win with Bally Mun? I never forget that we we didn't win either league, but we got two promotions. Mm, that's right. Which is. Which is something in itself, you know. Yeah. I mean? Two in a row, then the white jacked it in. I came to Finglas 25s then, but uh, they were two really good seasons. They got us 
in Down. the in the media for in yeah. the top league yeah. the media. And look, I think, look where they are now like, exactly yeah, and, right. I, and it happened to a, a good few clubs that left Premier A the likes of Colester the likes of ourselves and they and like Kilbarrick now as well they mm. all left to do what they're doing now mm. and that's what they do when you get put down to the bottom of intermediate football you, you, throw, you go into junior football mm. and then you have to walk, walk your way, your way up. through yeah. and, and Ballymoon got that yeah, they achieved absolutely. that and that's yeah. what the goal would have been yeah. Yeah. Colester done it yeah. well fortunately they came now. down this year like but Hopefully now with Gar coming in and and the lads like that, they can kind of get. I read a little thing today that Gar was saying he wants to bring back those kind of glory days and that that kind of feeling. The community thing more than that. And yeah, it's, and it's I think that's tough, a thing it's from a the club. Gig yeah. Yeah. That's a tough gig for any, him. Any, I think any yeah. managerial thing. Now. Well, he's Absolutely going into he's going into a club that like obviously has so much history established. But when you look at the team, when you look at the players, like oh, I go up there very rarely, but now anyone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You yeah. might say, you know, that young lads. But you do have to look at Paulus. We don't be up there that often. Mm. If you're up there that often, it's like people that watched all of us playing football. They, they get to know you. you no, know, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying from the area. Mm. Like there's yeah. no, you know, yeah. there's, you, there's you no normally you'd see, kind of, yeah, 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 normally yeah. you'd see, you'd look around, you go, well, there's but, a young lad from yeah. wherever, Shangan or wherever. But that's schoolboy structure though, as well. If you yeah. said it, it's good schoolboy structure in place, they're yeah. playing at the highest level, playing. Yeah. To keep them push them through to the well, schoolboy yeah. well, they do Patrick's have team. like if you look at it, a lot of our schoolboy teams in the last couple of years have all won their leagues and they've got some really smashing players like that tournament we had last week some really really good young players. it's just hanging on to them yeah. Yeah. once the league of board come into the 15th building them to whatever college yeah. or you know and they could drift away from it yeah, and that's the know. thing like it's it's hard keeping young players interested now playing football I, that's what I think because yeah. as, as you say that there's, so, there's so much more out there now do you know what I mean like when we play football back in the day it was at the same like it was just football you know there was no, no mobile phones no computers yeah. like there's so much t- t- things in have changed now, you know so yeah the there's so now, much yeah. so much more now that they can get you know distracted with to say well, I'm not going to match yeah. Yeah. going here yeah. like, you know what I mean but mm. I, that's personally my view on, on, the, on football is that it's just for me like it's not it's dead if you yeah. ask me like, yeah. I remember doing the kickstart level one a long long time ago Bernard had said would you be interested in that I said yeah do you know what we'll do that right and then we done it and then we got to the point where this whole thing where you can't be on your own with a child yeah, yeah. if the young is injured Safe don't card. go over and put you and, and you can't I said mm. get a parent fucked. has to be in the dressing yeah. room with the coach for absolutely yeah. players and I said no Yeah, I, it's I, even I like that as that. well where like my little Megan played for for uh, Wefty and uh, they had a fella Tommy he was the manager like and it was it was desperate like the parents had just turned up and dropped the kids and then they'd off they'd go like so the, the, I'd be there like I'd be the, one of the only ones that'd stay and then they're saying right will you take him him and there was a couple of girls and her and he was saying I said can't yeah. do you know what I mean you can't you, you I didn't want to batter the yeah. kids well, back, <laughs> well, you know what I mean <laughs> back, in the, <laughs> back in the day that wasn't an issue do you know yeah, what I mean like it was just oh, I sure hey, you'd be thrown into the back of a transit that's what I'm saying we gone. used to Sandy <laughs> Hill we used right. to get thrown into the back of a van yeah, Frankie Mangan's van yeah. I mean 20 all of us in the back of the van yeah. like pitch dark do you know what I mean like they just don't they do that now that's what it was all about really yeah. when you think about it wasn't it yeah. like you know yeah. that's saying the old road football your man now he's saying where you at the band coming home and like, I was out playing football there yeah. around the corner yeah. Yeah. road leagues yeah, three, and all yeah. three roads down yeah. Yeah. see that's yeah. what we had as well in the flats growing up in the flats do you know what I mean like we played football all day all day yeah so the, and the goals were the shoots do you know what I mean yeah. and then even at that like in the shoot then right there was a tap so you'd be in there you'd be sweating and you'd be in on and that's where all the rubbish was yeah, you know what I mean yeah, yeah. You that's where you need a new hit <laughs> <laughs> but that's where we grew up like you know yeah, well, we yeah, grew up playing football on the streets you wouldn't change you know? them no, change no definitely them. not one bit of a, no. definitely not well, if you look at it though the, the kids that are, people that grow up that are better footballers and anything else it's from the streets it's from them playing yeah. football on the road It's that's where football that's where junior football actually came from yeah I'd say absolutely but grassroots that, that's that's gone I, I very rarely see anyone on the streets playing ball now yeah and I, I got back to, sorry for cutting you off but I got mm-hmm. back to um, the year we won the four trophies right we used to train across from Balcours on the side of the hill do you remember yeah where Musgraves is right so that's that was what we had we had nothing else mm. we had nowhere else we trained one night in the shopping centre in Ballymun on the concrete right you want, what was that like in yeah. the car park yeah. we had no yeah. facilities and yet we done what we done that year do you know what I mean and then you look yeah. back to now or you look to now and you look at the fantastic club that Ballymun have the pitches do you know what I mean the bar everything 
they can't get they can't get players. Yeah. Do, you yeah. remember, do you remember it's the time they brought they brought a portable light? We were saying, yeah, this is bleeding deadly. <laughs> but they couldn't get it any higher than eye level. So when you ran to the corner and turned around, so you run it up a runway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but it, you had all them lads in the club in Ballymore for years. Like, all them lads that were with us. Yeah, fellas that. Like they'd follow you all around the country and do anything for you, and they were out doing all this stuff. It was it was just brilliant, and they never get club people men club in the background. Yeah, yeah, they never yeah. get. And some of them weren't. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the credit they deserve. Some of you know? them just loved going to watch the matches. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. My ma, she used to go to watch every game down the country and all. Like if you turn around, you'd be down in wherever Limerick or wherever you turn around, there she'd be brilliant standing there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but if you're trying to start a bit of fracas and your ma shouting over, give it up! <laughs> <laughs> Stop me, fucks. Uh, Brilliant. But uh, yeah, so it, obviously we touched on the FA Juniors and there were Liddy Cups, Nivea Cups as well, he's have under the belt, yeah. 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 <coughs> oh, uh, sorry, we won the, the Leicester Junior in 2007, you must have won around 2005 or something, just. The Liddy was won. No, the, the Leinster. The Leinster. Oh, the Leinster. Well, we won the, the first year we won the Junior, because we won the Junior Cup, the Leinster Junior, the Nivea and, well, the, and the league. The league. That was the four that we won that Could, year. We should have won the Liddy. We, we we got we obviously we won it down uh, Frank Cookin after the match. It was like a roll up ball, a tin foil was dints all over and I said some of that trophy. The the, the Bally one last brought that up to the towers and built around the place. <laughs> so <laughs> man, because I have a similar story dins though, another club it. that done that. Yeah. So yeah. I think they just the make that up. Yeah. Well, 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 I only believe kicked, it was yours, boys. Well, well, we only honest. kicked it once, that's right. <laughs> the the, the Nivea for Men Cup at the time was that was like the championship. It was a lovely League. cup, yeah. wasn't it? Big yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. And I always remember Jimmy O'Neill. Do you remember what he done? He, put, he got a piece of cardboard and he wrote the moon on it and he shoved it right underneath. Right. Right into the wear. Yeah. So if you lift it up like that and I think... The following year, the, whoever won it. Whoever won it was in the paper, in the paper and, and the you could see the thing in it. Saying, the the, the moon on it. Like. <laughs> Deadly, yeah. But uh, the, the, that year with the Lancers, the year we, the, we won the fall, we should have won the Liddy. We, now we put the Saturday side out. Do you remember? We, we trained, trained up in the, the pitch and we, we were training and the Saturday side were playing... I don't know Poinbrook. Who, Poinbrook, yeah. And uh, they got beaten. But we did, if he had to play at the first team, we'd have we done the five. We'd have won the five, you know. Five, yeah. we, we, we won the... Has we, anyone done the five? Have Sheriff, Sheriff, Sheriff done yeah. the five? Twice, I think. I think. Yeah, 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 I think, so, yeah, yeah. I think you're yeah. right. Yeah. I know Barry Flynn has four Junior Cup medals in a row. In a row? Yeah. Fairview. Fairview. Three with Fairview, and then he got transferred to Dublin Airport, and he signed for Port Marnock. And they won it and then. Won it. Four in a row. Yeah. yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. What a player he was. Yeah. What a player. I'm more, I'm more of a, a bloke as yeah, well. Yeah, gentleman. Like, ah, gentleman, good yeah. Really good lad. But the Liddy, we won the Liddy then with Paul Martin. Yeah. Do you remember Paul? Yeah. He used to manage. Yeah, I remember um, Paul managing his, yeah. Who did he manage? He Bosco. Was, was Bosco, Bosco, that's right. Yeah. He, was, he was lovely. Did he get to the, was Paul Martin managing Bosco when they got to the FA Junior final against Calista? I don't think oh. so. No? Yeah. I don't think so, well. He was a good manager. Oh, a great coach as well. Very good, great yeah. coach. I mean, very good. On all the runs we do now, when you sign up for a run, he's at the mall. Yeah. And he, he's just the same, you know, he's brilliant. Yeah. He's a really lovely yeah. fella, you know. Mm. But uh, I was going to say something there, yeah. I got four in that final. In the Nivea? In the Liddy. Oh, right. Yeah. It? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was brilliant. Should have had seven. Sheriff, <laughs> was I? Yeah. Mm. Sheriff YC? The, the, the original Sheriff, Sheriff YC. Sheriff, no, no, Sheriff, Sheriff United. United. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Them two oh, Martins yeah, well. up front, the two twenties. Remember them two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had a match abandoned early on uh, in the when we saw for Bally one against them up in the AOL. Yeah, do you remember? More that it was. Them some was some battles, didn't you? Like yeah, over the years, yeah. like there, even what but, we spoke about, even the battle. But you know what? We that's, even had yeah, Davey, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, even against the likes of him and that, do you know what I mean? Or yourself or whatever. But I loved that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because then I loved that you could go down the village and go into a pub. And have a point, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then it'd be all forgotten about. What I, you know what I mean? What I remember about that game, Al, is there was all sorts of carry on going on the pitch, right? Mm. And right, I don't know what happened, but at half time, I seen you running in, so I said, I'm gonna barge by this, fella. yeah. That's what that's happened. How yeah. it started. So I ran by and I shouldered him, 
and Al said something to me in a 200 round there was a bit of bleeding frack but I remember getting a dig off Barry McGowan because <laughs> yeah. I slipped up I didn't know yeah. he'd gone in first yeah, yeah. so he was standing behind me I was like he, he gave me a bleeding dig I was like what <laughs> I thought I was had to get knocked down first by a car yeah. was, what the fuck was that I remember it well I remember it was because we had it was you know probably a little kick yeah. off the ball or a little this and mm. you'd say what the fuck are you doing Davey but knowing each other do you know what I mean yeah, like, yeah. nearly friends yeah. you yeah, could say you know what I mean have yeah. a point together down yeah. there you yeah what are you looking at I fucking smash you up and I god it, that was that's all it was mm. and Bard's yeah. boy yeah. hits on me like that on the dressing room and I probably said you fucking prick or whatever yeah. but as Davey said Barry was ahead of him but Davey in, this is this we led into the dressing room yeah. so the hallway in Ballymun's clubhouse which is like yeah, yeah. toy yeah. so you're yeah. probably talking like three foot on the left, in width if yeah. even yeah. so Barry was obviously ahead of Davey and I said fuck you Davey while we were in the out you prick he turns around come straight at me with his fist I kind of like he swings or whatever so we grab each other Davy falls down on top of me so I'm on my back kind of punching <laughs> like this and Davy's kind of punching but like punching but we have each other's scuffs yeah, so yeah, we're kind of yeah. like this mm. and I look on top and as he said there Barry, Barry was in front way, of him yeah. and I'm just looking at Barry just swinging yeah, in Barry at shadow boxing just waiting <laughs> and then it, yeah, it just go. all broke up and yeah but that oh you loved all that again, do you know what I mean that was an hour or two later Davey texts me this yeah. and all I'm sorry about that because I knew it was all, as soon as that happened and I come off the pitch because I am I end up going off in that game because head head gone. Gone. I couldn't get my head around mm. what was that happen and I remember saying I need to get Al's number and text mm. him straight away and Al had said to me in no short short terms fuck off now the are now of yeah, order and I yeah. said that's fine Al I just wanted to get out of my chest yeah. to text you if that's your reaction that's fine and then the next day I got a text on my phone you slept on it like, yeah yeah and mm. you know and that was it gone yeah. you get it you know yeah, yeah. and even over the years and we'd come into the shilling it would never be any oh, no animosity or, yeah, 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 look yeah. I mean I played against you plenty of times yeah and we you were very similar to for me with uh, Peter Murray and Bill mm. They the kicked the living the shit out of you, yeah. but top salted the earth people. Yeah. Did you said to me one day, you said, you just stop talking to me, please, because you're doing me fucking head in. <laughs> <laughs> you're putting me out of my game. Like, and I was like, yeah. you're down the shit the weekend, and I was just, <laughs> that's, yeah, you, I was, but, yeah. that's you all over. Yeah. 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 It's a funny story. He wanted, oh, to, he wanted to hate me yeah. and, but he couldn't hate me when I was asking him yeah, how yeah, was, was your weekend yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's when you go back to getting to know players and you, you can't hate them anymore you're like oh he's yeah. Nelson sound isn't he you yeah. know? I can't give him a view no. <laughs> Carl Money now kick fucking him the, no, no, yeah we remember going up and I think we were with the Valley and Carl left the Valley to sign but we have to always step the Valley went up and watched them one game and you were playing but you and Carl were going at it mm. And it was gas because Carl was now he was a young, good looking, loads yeah. of head head good black hair well, and yeah. a great player. Yeah. And he could mix it, Carl. Oh, yeah, Carl was probably only about 18, 19 as yeah, yeah. And he was as, as strong as a, yeah. a fully grown man. I remember him playing against Port Marnock and he was with the Valley, his fourth season with the Valley. I think with the Valley, I think we were going for pushing the, for the league. And Port Marnock were probably the, they, they ended up winning the league. Yeah. But Carl Murray battered Barry Flynn mm. and he was winning headers against. The tallest Dougie Dole and all yeah, these players, yeah, yeah. and everyone's gone. Who is was this this? Yeah, yeah. He was so aggressive and mm. hard. Yeah, he was, but he could play. And he could play yeah. as well. But I remember the twist that he was had, but there was a bit of a scuffle, and Carl's obviously in the centre of it. You, you weren't in the scuffle, Davey, but you ran behind. And Carl's Carl had a little bit of a mullet grabbed him by the back of the hair and just <laughs> sent him back yeah. down for Carl. He two ground. footed me in the game. Yeah, I think it might have been the same one yeah, over yeah. Mark Christie, and yeah. I was going on my holidays and I always remember like, a big fucking cut on my leg. I was like, you dirty bastard. Yeah. Yeah. But then we played them in a friendly for the AOL against the, the underage AOL. The youth, yeah. And he was playing in the middle. Mm-hmm. So I dropped back on one stage and he was behind me. Ask him this, such a fucking album that I was again. <laughs> he was never crying, there was yeah. blood yeah, everywhere. Yeah, 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 and yeah. then I get my boot in the face one stage. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just slag him oh, over. Hold on a minute now, now I don't fucking <laughs> <laughs> do it. Why did I accept your apology? <laughs> I don't know where we were, he was on the ground, I said. You never get a chance of just again. Ask him. <laughs> you never get a chance of just again. But, uh, it was tough, yeah. Funny though, you know. Yeah. Mm. I loved when he came to Ballymun. Like, I remember when Keith came to Ballymun, he was there about a week or two, and we've been best friends since that two weeks that we met each other yeah. not a day Keith. Goes, Keith yeah. Murray. Yeah. it's not a day goes boy where we don't talk to each other yeah just just Brilliant. because of football yeah, yeah. No, okay, if, we, if I didn't play football and Murray I didn't play football he said never met never know each other you know yeah and now he's like as I say he's probably my best mate you know yeah it's crazy Deadly. it's mad it's just I just think with football you you meet people over the years like even now like sitting here with you still we know he was years like mm. you know yeah. It's, I think that's brilliant about it and mm. so I always say to my young fella 
I always have, I always have fitness. I always be involved in it. Because I remember Bernard used to say to us, like, Ballymun United you know, was a place where kids could come. You, you go down that road. To get them away from yeah, that road. Go down yeah, that road. Yeah. There's always a road over here. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think, I think it was really important. I think if you look at clubs like Fingers and all the clubs all over Ireland would be responsible. And we don't know because a lot of the kids went the right way. Yeah. If they weren't there, I wonder how many kids would have. But that's what the community clubs, that's what they're, they're, they're for. That's the, what they're the for, yeah. And that's yeah. People go with the time for it. And yeah. If it wasn't for the lads come the time, obviously the kids would go down a different way. And, and that's, you yeah. know what? This is, this, as I said earlier, that's what was really important to, well, it was definitely important to myself and Paul, is that we were winning for Ballymun. We, we yeah. fucking yeah. live here. Yeah. He's had that pride so yeah. much to us. Yeah. That's yeah. what we always wanted, Nelson, wasn't it? We wanted a win for Wefta, and it just. Mm. But it's like, it's, it's, you ever see the party that yeah. the guy last time about that parish and they want to win for the yeah. parish? Yeah. Yeah. But that's. Definitely. I've never seen how big that was. Like, obviously, you go down the country and the, the time it's a small little club in the Arsenal of Mayo or somewhere. Mm. And you see, and they, they, they die for that now. Yeah. Oh, but the town are down. The town should yeah. tell, right? Let's go. Well, like, that's that's what saying, like when you're sitting there for your juniors and winning league, they'd say there's, there's black, black and yellow buttons all over Ballymun. Uh, yeah, like you would. Like, incredible. Everything. Incredible. There was, a, there was a sign in the old shopping centre. It was a white sheet. It was somebody's bedroom. And it was uh, Ballymun United v St. Kevin's, the date and the whole lot. Deadly. And then after the game, someone had climbed up to him up how, with a big marker. D can three. Was wrong under it. Just know, even the, 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 like, the first the, Facebook was it? The day, the day of the final, like was like we were we were obviously living in the flats. We had a fella uh, Peter Smith. He was the physio, he's a taxi driver. He's, he, he was never a physio, was he? Yeah, he was brilliant. But anyway, he's brilliant. He was. But I remember like opening the the door that morning early, and we had a landing. You know what I mean? So he, he their flat was there, and their flat was there, and uh, just standing. We were all standing out. On the on the, the land and talking about the, the day and all, and then you go and meet and all. Even coming back after we won, like we pulled into the, it was a lovely day. Like yeah, we, we pulled into done that. Ah, we should have. We pulled into the comet, the car park at the comet, and the two doors are wide open. The comet, right? Kevin's. And yeah. Kevin <laughs> on the bus like that with the trophy. Now we probably wouldn't have done it only for what they done, yeah. Yeah, taking the gear out and stuff like that. Yeah. But when we, we could have just <laughs> went straight up the road. But when we got back to the towers, like it was brilliant. Like we got off the bus out the back. Right, and we walked through the bar. It must have took us, I'd say it took us a half an hour yeah. to walk through the towers. The towers was packed, but you felt like you were playing. Like you were at to win the Champions League. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It felt that and, way. And, it, and there was World Champions League. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly like it is. Yeah. That's, that's today, going back to that. That was the community. Like people from Ballymun went to watch yeah. Ballymun play. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? You'd, yeah. Now when people sit down and watch a live stream on on the Facebook and everything else. So that's it. The and that's the thing about the good thing about social media now you can actually watch games and you can watch yourself playing games like you know my my Schneid at the time her sister had a video camera and she videoed the junior cup final yeah and you can you, you only get one of the goals and then the big pole is in the way and all. Yeah. So we got someone's feet for about half an hour yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we got the warm up and all and I still have that in the gaff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, now you did like you even coming out, like walking out, we'd you walked out with somebody's yeah. with somebody's kids. So I had Brian Rooney, he was like a club man at the time, but I had his little girl, Lauren. And then I met him there a while ago, she's bleeding twenty odd now, she has her own kid and all, yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? I think back go. to the and day. Mem- there you go again, Just yeah, show yeah. how old they I are. I think that's there, a great like. thing to do. I've, I've, I remember when Premier A in the AOL and they bring that in yeah. that you the two teams walked Pop out together, yeah. and it was brilliant mm. I think it's great yeah. and when I went over to to Crumlin and all they didn't have that yeah. in the intermediate and all and I, I'd still now to this day think that every top team or top league should, should do have that it. walk Absolutely. out together yeah. walk out together Make in a line more professional, yeah. professional stand the line yeah. and go and shake yeah. everybody's yeah. hand yeah. I loved when that came yeah. in it was brilliant. See, it's I, I would have been a big lover of all that kind of thing that, yeah. that may, makes it more professional then mm. do you know what I mean I remember we we, we we didn't have a pitch for a long time with uh, the regeneration, so we'd lost San Siro, so we were bobbing around, bleeding everywhere. But we had the Alza mm. for a season or two. Yeah, remember yeah. 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 the pitch, pitch was, was terrible. terrible. Yeah. Do you know what? Al? If you walk up and look on, you go, oh, you go look oh, at this. Yeah, track it's terrible. The, yeah. yeah, terrible. We got all new gear, new tracksuits. We had to wear a tracksuit. We all had the gear, and we were all waiting outside the Alza. And this crowd pulled up from the country, playing ragball rovers. And I remember them getting off the bus and looking at us going. For, for fuck's sake, ten nil. I think we won. They were beaten. Would you know? Because we were in tracksuits. We got back to uh, 
the San Siro. I was going to touch on that. So, yeah, I'd love like, to we 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 were under the flats, right? And it was it was brilliant, wasn't it, for us? Mm-hmm. Like, so that's what was the whole the the, the the why was it called the San Siro? Because so of obviously because the, the flats yeah, that, that the, kind of surrounded yeah. it. Do you know what I mean? Um, I have the picture here. I don't, I don't know who gave it the name, but it, but it it's like worked. The San Siro do you know what I mean? Because the, the building. So had, it, yeah, yeah, so I had the flats that were all the way around it. Like, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody done that then, and actually. Put the flats oh, around, but, you yeah, know. Yeah, so the the flats that's not intimidating. Yeah. I don't know what it is. But it, it was so intimidating. It was an intimidating yeah, place. Yeah, yeah hundred percent. But the dressing room made it because it was in the flats. We were coming. The teams were coming up from the country, right? They were getting off a bus, right? And somebody was saying, "Is there in there, lads?" Yeah. And they'd be looking at the flats. Do you know what I mean? And they'd be going in there and be going, "Yeah, they're in there." Like, can we and not just go home? <laughs> <laughs> like they were one nil down already. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. they'd never seen anything like mm-hmm. that before, you know. And it was a huge pitch, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was massive. Huge. Yeah, enormous. massive. We bought a bag of cigarettes off a of fellow outside the club. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not messing that for a fiver. A bag of cigarettes, right? And for weeks, I we used to go to the pub with a bag of cigarettes. <laughs> you know, a sandwich bag. So yeah. walk up to the pub and sit them on the table. <laughs> they want to smoke. The pitch, the pitch was that big, right? That. Gary McCormick used to nearly come to the halfway line with the ball and he'd put the ball over the top for myself or stay out around it and it wouldn't go out of play. And he'd be kicking that, that from big? the from the yeah, halfway it line. Enormous. It was huge. Mm. Huge. On it, you know? We played up there, we, we had a great game up there for Sandy Hill before we left. Um we uh we got them in the cup, do you remember? And the junior they, cup. they were in the junior cup like and they were huge. Do you know what I mean? And we were we were just we were minnows like yeah. but um I scored to make it 1-0 and uh, we held on for ages yeah. and uh, they equalised and then Kogo scored probably one of the best yeah, goals exactly. ever like he got it on the halfway line he beat everybody and he buried it in the last minute but like we it was we got more over as, from for Sandy Hill than they did for winning the game because everyone was saying what a performance from, yeah. from Sandy Hill like I think that's kind of where they started looking at us then do you know what I mean and start saying well let's yeah, have a look at these yeah, like, do you exactly, know what I mean yeah. but Good days, I have to say. But I think, know. I think, you know, something just happened at the time. We sat in Paul, he went up to Ballymun, and all the boys from Finglas came. Like we nearly got James O'Rourke at the time and all, and but we got we got Weft's best players yeah. combined yeah. with Ballymun's best players. Definitely, so it, just, it was just a, just a again a bit dramatic. And it's it, it did click, it just it clicked, and then straight away you get you get Noel in. Do you know what I mean? Who yes. would come in as well, and then. All of a sudden, like you, you, everyone's looking at them, got, look, looking at this team, going, "Jesus, these are good." Yeah, you know. And then momentum. But we had the winning, winning mentality winning, as well. Yeah, you're, you're winning. You're winning. Yeah. And and you've done it, like as you said, you got Premier A two year two mm. years in a row. Because mm. sometimes, as you said earlier on, Davy, when you when you win that league or you win that cup, and it's like, right, it's time to kick on. And then someone goes, ah, "I'm had enough. Yeah, I'm off. Not a player. I'm going here. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. Yeah. Doesn't happen. Yeah. And I think a couple of years after that, we started to lose a player here and there and we were getting good players in like we got Keith Brown in at the time Chris Hamilton came in Chris Madden who was the best left full in the league but it just wasn't the same we didn't have that we were getting to certain points we were getting beaten we were like well, why can't we win yeah. fucking these really top games anymore you, know? you think it would be that the teams around just couldn't improve them, or was it well the way, the way, the way sorry Nelson the way Premier A worked for me for years was Kevin's had their spell Pont Marnock had their spell we came along we had our spell Calesta came along they had their spell Sheriff sure. came along they had their spell it did actually go exactly like that yeah. Yeah, it did, it did the domineering yeah, yeah. Calesta, exactly. came, Calesta yeah. came behind us then and they were they were knocking they were, on the door, they were knocking yeah. the door. Yeah. We, we were barely beating them in, in games in the league and we beat them I remember we won the Junior Cup the second Junior Cup and we went on the gargle on the Saturday Sunday and we had the semi-final on the Tuesday in the AOL yeah, was it? all of them the AOL in bits and we beat them we should never have beat them but you could feel it you could feel them going we're fucking moving yeah, in, next we'll push yeah. Yeah, yeah, in a yeah, year yeah. So. and then it happened so when when that kind of happened that transition happened how how, how do you use like what, what do you use there or how do you use react then like players coming and going Ballymone is obviously stuck around winning things is coming a little bit short or Calesta are starting to dominate what, what happens it kind of went a bit sour as well I'm not going to mention names but fellas were coming in and kind of coming in with the with the thing that yeah lads you've done that that's all done you know that's gone do you know what I mean so I was kind of trying to 
to bury all that we had done and bury start instead of taking it on do you know what I mean so it did kind of, it did it did get a bit sour for mm. a while you know it, and as Dave said probably then starting losing games where we used to be dominating do you know what I mean and it was kind of as I, I always say that we didn't dominate for long enough we should have yeah. Yeah. and I can't Agreed. put my finger on Agreed. Why, why it happened but the two leagues that we won we, we could have easily went and won two more yeah, yeah. straight after that if we'd have stuck together we, we definitely would have won the year after we won the Junior Cup we played fucking Wicklow Rangers or something in the next game and these were like bad and he sorry in the first game of the Junior Cup the following year and he beat us yeah. and no one wouldn't let us have a shower get onto the bus put your clothes over don't don't go even go into that dressing room just get on the bus and go home like the first we won it that year you're beating in the first round the next year so it's mad but for me when, when it started to change at Bally Moon like I, I wasn't leaving anyway but I kind of like consciously said to myself well, I can't just get up and leave now because the, the good times are gone yeah. fucking stay and we fight and stick it out you know what I mean we're from Bally Moon that's the way it is and we've spent like 2001 we won the Junior Cup and then we didn't win until 2009 and we had we had some good successful mm-hmm. years under Joey Malone we, we, we won the Leinster with him and the Nivea Paul Martin we'd won the Liddy so we were still kind of yeah you're still there off. Yeah, yeah, yeah here yeah, and there like, yeah yeah in the league maybe not but we'd get a cup here but we're, we're always a team like that you'd have looked at when we played against you even you are always a team like you playing Ballymun today do you mm. know what I mean? remember we played Ballymun first game of the season before we left and it was everyone was really far away yeah and they were great games. Yeah. And do you know what? Oh, yeah, yeah. More times than not, you used to beat us. I remember going up to the Master Christie. It's very rare we come out with there going. Yeah. 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 It's lovely. We won that. Yeah. We come out with there in the bleeding depths. Yeah. yeah. No, I really loved going up there. I loved, play, I loved playing against mm. Wefty. Do you I know what I mean? I loved the local derby myself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I loved that. Yeah. Yeah. Games were yeah. just, yeah. Good, yeah. good football and yeah. hard. Yeah. yeah. Like, Brilliant games. Yeah. Mm. Even driving, when we'd be driving up in the van and he'd be like, <laughs> well, I loved all that. I loved going to get you know going to teams where you're, you're going to say this is a this is a battle this is a battle yeah, yeah. even going down to Pike we went down to Pike and uh, sorry we didn't we went to Carew Park we played on Pike's pitch what was that like that, that was that, that was like that won us the junior that won us the junior that was quite fun like, they were the top team now they, they were, were unreal tough, 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 as, all tough, tough as nails mm. like and even the the crowd yeah, they're all the crowd was they were loons just slept up 11 mm. just but we won we, we t- we, t- two won we beat them I yeah, think we really really good performance like fucking yeah. brilliant Paulie yeah. scored a blade and crack oh no he chased the goalkeeper down and he hit it up and went in <laughs> but again the, the, but <laughs> the, 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 if I hadn't a chase the goal, if, the goal, if, yeah. if yeah. that like yeah. I chased yeah. the keeper down and he, kick, he kicks it against me and we, we got one nil up do you know what I mean? And then you would have said, ah, leave him, leave him that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so that determination yeah. kind of kicked through yeah, into you. Yeah, but it would have been in you as a player, you mm. know what I mean? That, yeah. that bit that came yeah. into your stomach, you're like, I'm going to this year. And Absolutely. Yeah. So. I remember going down to play Pike down there as well and, I mean, the game had literally tipped off and I ran up to the centre forward and the centre half just fucking ran over me and turned around and he said, you're getting that for the 90 minutes. Is that right, yeah? So, well, it's grand to me because yeah. sometimes I needed somebody to give me a bit yeah. of a build and wake yourself up a tad you know now he kicked me around the place for 90 minutes I didn't do anything to fucking <laughs> look she happens there you go mm-hmm. a few questions that we're going to go into there right so we probably go Paulie and then David and is that the way to do it yeah the oldest force the oldest force so he says I'll go here yeah so uh, any any regrets in football I said it earlier on just the fact that we should have probably won more than what we did like you know the the two the two seasons to win in the league uh, the year after each other like we, we I reckon we could have done that for another three years at that and can't put my finger on why that happened but no nah, I've, I've now regrets when Maybe it comes get to him away after. yeah like I've, I've obviously that as I said Getting I did I, I did enjoy I did enjoy coming up here but yeah that that's probably one but in terms of footballing and what we done I've now, now regrets yeah. now it's good yeah I think sometimes when you ref- reflect on a regret it's more of a regret that y- a decision that you made isn't mm. it really like yeah. if you're with that sort of as a regret you can't really play and put that as a regret when you're injured yeah. you're yeah. out of yeah. your yeah. control yeah. Yeah. wasn't yeah. it yeah. Like, yeah something you do and you go fuck I shouldn't have done that yeah. mm. so I've none none I know that sounds funny but I've none pretty good brilliant, just, brilliant. it's all in the past Polly, best player you played with can't pick each other 
No, money messing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick him anyway because we had that many rows over the years. And but um, oh, geez, that's a tough one. I'm gonna probably piss a lot of people off. Um, probably. Uh, Owen Hardy was outstanding, like, and I always say it now. Even we we we're, we're still really good friends with Owen, but I look at Owen when he played for Thirty Fives, and I used to say to myself, "This fella can still should be still playing League of Ireland." A few people said that about him. Yeah. Do you he know what I mean? Like three positions, like at the same time, <laughs> and so fit, like you know. But I, look, over the years, there's been you know on a, an amateur level, like, you know, you play, but yeah, yeah. I've obviously I'd have to put Christy in there. You know, Christy was just outstanding, like Deadly. yeah, Bordock by a country mile and a quick funny story right we were in the towers having this conversation one night Dave who's the best player I ever played with Gar sitting there I said Gar fucking incredible but he is he's my number one right and then the lad said to Gar Gar who's the best player I ever played with and I'm sitting there going do you know what he said Gazi <laughs> so, yeah. I'll get another drink. <laughs> Fucking yeah, Gazzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was yeah. brilliant, very funny. But yeah, he's definitely Christy picked Garbordock. Did he, yeah? Best player. He, he was incredible. Yeah. And Al, do you know what? You hit the, na- the, the nail on the head earlier on by saying when you play with somebody and you see how good they are. Gary Gary brought what Gary brought to Bally Mum was in tight games that you might n- draw a nil all or lose one nil we started to win 1-0 and Gary Bordock got there yeah. it's goal, a tough back, question back. as well though because y- you're leaving fellas out that you know yeah. you played with and you're saying he was smashing as well though you know like it's, it's, it is a tough one like so we we go uh, best manager ah now it's in a country mile yeah. yeah like I'd feel I wouldn't feel that way about the players I'd feel that way about the managers because like, Casey was brilliant Paul Martin was brilliant Jerry Smith was brilliant at what he did but just I remember Mick Arkell talking about his best 11 that he's ever played with and he picked the whole of the Colester team because you know they'd done so That's much together. together yeah, yeah and with, it was brilliant that that, I love the way you done it mm. but uh, yeah no best club Ali Mun although the early days with Sandy Hill were fantastic yeah, do you know what I mean too. but uh, yeah yeah that's that's where all my, my friends have come I always from, ask I mean? especially ex-League of Ireland players I asked Hearley this who when you finish up playing, who do you think back was your club? You know, and he, here he said Shelburne. I always thought it was Bowes, but he says Shells. And he's been with a good few teams, but he, Shells are his club. That's the one he looks back at and goes, that was my club. Yeah. That's what it is for us for Bally yeah. Moon, you know. So we go into best 11s. You want me to name the best, my best 11? Yeah, we, we go formation. That you played with? Yeah, played with, yeah. yeah you piss a few people off here. This year, we gave you one player, I'm giving you 11 now, so... I, I, that, like like what Mick Akiao said like it'd be hard to not pick the 11 that we played with yeah. because it, to be fair that season was it was the same 11 for the majority of the season he didn't really make a lot of <coughs> we did we did have that we did squad, have a squad so. but, yeah. but it usually is when a team was, does what you was doing it usually is a strong card isn't it if that's the starting 11 we know who, when we're up against it it's the yeah, you could have picked that team. Yeah, that, that yeah. Was that so like, that it, like that to me. But then like you go to like I I like playing with footballers. Do you know what I mean? So obviously when I went to WEF, you were there. You were smashing football on the mm-hmm. on the ball. Um, Daz was unbelievable on it as well. Do you know what I mean? But then the thirty fives. I played centre midfield with Gary Sliney. It, it just made me feel like I was playing really good football again because Gary was so he was so clever, so good. Do you know what I mean? And he. He always says he always says to me that he loved playing with me because of how I played. Do you know what I mean? He's complimenting his yeah, yeah. So like, like a That's that's what I'm saying. Like it's mostly the lads that I play with with Ballymun. So you could go with the Ballymun. I'd, I'd go with the, the I'd go with the team that, that the started FBI? in the junior cup final. Yeah, right. I'd go with them. Yeah, Davy. Yeah, again, like, it, it, I'm saying the easy answer, but you could do that. But like, there's players over the years that. Is these just players you played with? Played with, like parties are the same. Though you know, you probably you probably do the same. You probably pick the same eleven yeah. that done the boys. You can go with yeah. outside of that. But just out but of with like them as well. Res- respect to all of them as well. To yeah, you have to mention that. Yeah, because I picked it in eleven there recently, and I left Richie Kelly over because I played with a fella. You probably know him, Al. Uh, Glenn Shannon. Plays with Moctus, yeah. Yeah, Glenn. Glenn came to Ballymun in Casey's and. Um, uh, Noel Bourne's time and I'd never seen anything right. like him before he was a rifle winger 
forward. He was fucking unbelievable. And I put him in that team. Well, and I felt we bad just because of Richie. Richie. Uh, I left him out. Yeah. You know, I just felt a little bit. So does like, Glenn would be in my team. Here he'd be in my team. Paul McNally would probably be in my team, you know. Mm. Then Gar, Steele, Paulie. Yeah. What's the next question? <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll, we'll move on forward from the best 11 then. Your best friend in Derek football. Derek Moore, he'd be in the team. Yeah. Um, Paulie, best friend best in football. Best friend in football. Uh, has to be, yeah, Richie. Richie Kelly. Kelly, yeah. Yeah, good connection there. Really good yeah. laugh on that stage. We, 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 Richie was on the stage. He had some laugh. He had some room. Ah, he was in the room, was he? He but, but was in that. Was that? He was in the room more than I was in the room. Yeah, yeah. I used to shower in the room. I think it was. I think it was me, Richie. Uh, Carl and Keith. Right. Oh, you like, the next door, was he? Right? Like, you're next door. Put, yeah. He'll put the four of us in that yeah, room. Yeah, I remember yeah. when we, one of the holidays we won for the leagues, um, Paul, Richie, and Colin Cuddy were in one room, and we came into the room one morning, and Richie's over at the, the fucking sink, and he's washing the pots and the pans with a sock and shower gel. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck's going on in here? Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. The, um, yeah, 100% Richie, yeah. yeah. Keith. Keith Murray yeah yeah, and I had close friends back then but yeah Keith like, yeah. I just I think he's the funniest person yeah, I've ever met in my life yeah, great so yeah, and same with Carl yeah. yeah very similar yeah, yeah I love and Carl he's, mm. he's great and especially when, when we were on the gargle all the time he yeah. obviously doesn't drink yeah. now you know what I mean but even now like we were in the Knights book for Joe's 40th and he didn't drink he obviously doesn't drink yeah fair play to him he's at the stop and gargle and he's like committed a quarry to us all and he stayed there for a couple of hours and he's the murderer of when same, he was drinking yeah. Yeah. but you know without, there's no without the, without without the drink yeah. Yeah. he didn't yeah. play yeah. a great night and he went says lads right? brilliant <laughs> yeah. but yeah so we go uh, favourite memory favourite memory oh, has to be the uh, the junior cup final that day the whole day and the week the week <laughs> building up the day um, was the after the, the afterwards in the towers and like you'd fellas coming into the towers that night from other clubs you know, we'd, that we'd, was a tradition back that then. That was a tradition, yeah, yeah kind yeah, of back yeah. back in the, the day. That won it the year before. So the yeah. fellas yeah. coming in and, you know, celebrating, well which done. is that yeah. from other clubs, which is brilliant, like. And then the week after, I suppose, the week after was just, was crazy as well, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? But it says memory there, probably, you probably haven't remember yeah, much like, from that. memories, like, Sorry, the nice whole time, time that we played, the whole time that we played for Bally Mum, for me, was... Yeah, he took yeah. the words out of my mouth, probably, during the final, and that time. Yeah. Like, that's where I always... Go back to that time. Yeah. Look, if we if we're in the pub and I say to Rich or Colin, yeah, it's that time, but that's what it was. That time in our lives. Yeah. That was. You look back. That's one of the happiest times in my life. Mm. But look, for years after the Junior Cup final, I thought about it every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I said this to some of the lads in Bali One. That time, you know, was fucking brilliant. Yeah, like, and outside of the football, that like we used to, we used to go out on like New Year's Eve and all, all the lads and all the girls nothing to do with football yeah. like, so it, it was that it was, that time brought like really happy times like yeah, you know togetherness that was yeah. beyond football relationships and friendships yeah. for life absolutely 100% you know? yeah. Yeah. that was brilliant boys mm-hmm. Thank, yeah. thanks so much enjoy that, that. Yeah, that was say, really yeah. did I have to say I enjoyed yeah. that I feel like I've been in the doctors I feel better I better I better I better I better I better I better